He comes from SoCal. He is actually Apology Man's editor, so oh, you know really? those there great minds go. think alike. All right, round start. Looks like no button check. We're going to get into it. Yes, sir. Strapping immediately. Starts off with a Chrome Gonzalez advantage. Puts the Escobari on him, and is going to be able to get this pressure started. All right, pushing back in the corner and get the counter hit. Early burst, which is fine. We get so much burst nowadays. Yeah, it's like the burst economy now is definitely different compared to seasons past. You are able to get a lot more of it back, so you're going to be a lot more liberal with that burst, it's, just like Super Nude. Yeah, it feels like you do something at every second now. It doesn't matter if it's the start. It doesn't matter if it's the end. You always got Mater, which is awesome. Yes, sir. I'm, as a, you know, I love that new burst change. And just like these changes, you were able to see Super Nude go ham with the Rock earlier. We are probably going to see that be a big factor in this rock, matchup today. Rock's awesome. And I play against Rock. I still don't know what to do against Rock. Man, <laughs> so you, just, you, hold the, you hold them plus frames, my boy. You hold them plus frames. Yeah, OK. Well, round one going over to Super Yes, sir. Getting things kicked off here. Which we are seeing the Ram, by the way. Yeah, I yeah. was going to say, like, the Bridget into uh, into Biken is definitely a bit more of an uncivil pick compared to the Ram, but Chrome nice. is going to be able to get things started here. You can see the three combo catches the back dash, going to push into the corner, going to keep that. Jump dust going to keep in the corner. Overhead going to break that wall. Yes, sir. What are we going to do on Wake Up? Neutral knockdown. Not so, it's, yep. yeah, it was like, so we can't really do too much. Yep, oh, but we can nice. do. Ooh, good confirm. So we can do a little 6 H. Get is things it, started with a round of our own here. Do you think this is a double counter pick? So these, uh, are, these are secondaries of both these players. Realistically, I think there'd have to be some crazy mind games because Faust is so well into Bridget yeah. that he had to know that the bike, he had to know that the ram was coming out. My bad. Yeah, absolutely. Back to neutral, rock, hold it. Corner, hold it. Get the pressure started. Looks oh, like it drops. Whips the super, and now Chrome is going to get a chance to play. Pulls super. off a super of his own. Oh, that pushes in. Awesome. Yes, sir. You see, I got to say, if there's one person who benefited from these new changes, it's got to be Chrome. He has been using Ooh, them all to his full to advantage. That. Nice. Just like that parry there. Game and one, Chrome. Yes, sir, Chrome is going to get things kicked off here. Game number one. We're going to get some caffeine in them. Let's, let's go. Yes, sir. Super new in round one. I'm coming ready. Absolutely. Go, going back to the character select screen. Oh, wow. I've never seen a man lock in Bridget that quickly in my <laughs> life. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the Ram pick wasn't quite what he wanted to do. Now, like I said, even though this matchup in particular is a little bit unstable, I would still, as a Bridget player myself, consider this even. Probably feel a little bit more comfortable, too, with yes. how much Super Noon's been playing this this character. Very, very consistently, kind of since they Dual came out. One, yeah, two. exactly. It's like Bridget, Bridget came out uh, and got that big buff in Season 2, big and then buff. Super Noon was on there just trying to make this character work and take it to the highest late stage of competition. Him and Hotashi were definitely pushing very well. That yeah. reset, yeah. As, first. as we can see, you know, this counter pick is already off to a great start. Now has control that neutral a little bit better. You, you play my game yeah. instead of me playing against Viking. Yeah, he's been, he's been controlling literally every single aspect of this game right now. It's been pretty enticing to watch. Bo, RC, should be able to pick it up. Yeah. Nice round one super. We're going to get that perfect. Yes, yeah, sir. Get a nice easy confirm there and kick things off for game number two with a perfect super new. Looks like he's in the driver's seat by all sides of the word right now. All right, corner pressure. Good big counter hit. No beater yet. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Hard knockdown. No burst available. Let's see if we're gonna see any new defense mechanics. No, yeah. just good old blocking. I like it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it came out. Wasn't yeah. quite able to punish it though. Now he's gonna get the roll mix. Is oh, it gonna go high or low? The, the high. high. It's gonna pick up, and this should kill with. Oh, it's gonna kill with these. Ah, yep. there we go. Biking. Even. Biking, yeah. I gotta say, those Japanese guys are always. Make it a little bit tense over here in the booth, but but Vikings, Vikings a little glass cannon. Sometimes. Yeah, it's very, I played Viking for a little bit, and it was like I just died of that. It felt like chip. <laughs> yeah, it's like sometimes you know her defense is modifier. It's a bit strange. Gonna get showed off here. Close Good. slash confirm into the optimal position. Ooh. Let me use those plus rays and take you through the wall with the hard knockdown. Hard knockdown, knockdown again. What setup are we gonna see? Bridget has a million. We don't need it. Just run up close slash. Yeah. Season one. Uh oh. Try to get you forward. A little bit of scuff there, you know. Try to get the Ooh, yo yo PRC, nice. but he doesn't need it. Does not need it. Another perfect coming through. Two perfects in three rounds, man. Super News on a tear right now. Oh, we're on game three. It's just going so fast. Yeah. This game's so fast. I love it, nice man. Nice counter hit. Early burst does not want to hold that corner pressure. Yeah, and I got to say, we are never beating the first three allegations with this game speed, man. No, ev never, never. I've been playing uni recently, and I'm like, I'm not used to it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to it. It's all first and two. All right. Small play. Yeah, Chrome is losing here. Using the plus range. It's advantage. Yeah. 
Super D tries to mash and is gonna pay Ooh, for his crime. Kill. Nice, another perfect. We're just, we're gaming. This is crazy. It looks like Chrome's in the seat. And then we got Super Noon in the driver's seat. These two players, it's, they, they want to get that advantage and they want to just press it. Both yeah. of them are so good at that. They are that not that's why we see the early burst so often. It's because it's, I don't want to hold that that early. No, no shot. It's crazy. I mean, it feels like neither player is giving up control once they get things started. No, As you, you see can't, here, you cannot, or else, yeah, that's this game. Yeah, Super Noon is going to get things kicked off here. Low Look starter. at this route. Nice. Yep. Oh, one of the uh, one of the super PRC. Maybe just wants to take him through the wall. That's fine. We're gonna keep the 50 meter. We're gonna get yep. some, some more. So, yeah, we're gonna do this now from that. Okay. Oh, that's I, fine. Still corner control. Like the deflect shield there from Chrome. All right. Set up. Oh. Ooh, good PRC. Chooses not to interact with it. Wow. I mean, if we're being honest here, even visually, you would have been oh. able to confirm and use Maybe a 6P. Like far slash. Yeah, 6P yeah. to far slash. That, that moves like, what, like six frames? Bike and far slash? Yeah. It's That's like, a game. It's, it's, it's nine frames, yeah. That's the eSports button for sure. It's, it's wow. definitely crazy, but uh, just like the super new lead here, Chrome looked like he had everything figured out, but now we look at this matchup, and it's looking like Super Noon has the download. Uh-oh, oh, really wanted that burst. burst. Yep. He wanted it. We've seen a lot of early ones, so that's a good call. Oh, gonna get that gold burst. Corner, overhead instantly. Whips the grab, got meter, doesn't matter. Oh, man, that was a really good way to punish that from down. Chrome. 2D, super. Yep, take Hard it to the wall. Down. We want this hit. This next hit kills. Woo! Ooh. Unless it's a grab. Mix, baby. <laughs> uh oh, doesn't even want the mix. Nice. Just the, give yep. me those plus just frames. Plus frames, just grab it. Here we go. We got Chrome sitting here, trying Feeling to keep his last round. Yeah, yeah wants to keep his winners at home for all. I mean, honestly, with the way this bracket is looking, I wouldn't want to be a loser either. Uh, absolutely not. And there's so many killers everywhere. Every match is just nice. Good. Tap dust, charge dust, into corner carry, into setup. You know the deal. Oh, just wall break. Okay. Yep. Nice. Optimal damage. Both players looking locked in here. Locked in. We got burst on guard. We got burst both sides. Ooh, bad oh, bad counter. Usually it turns around, but not to press that button early. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, wow. And now Super Noon with that aerial yo-yo is sitting here at match point. Absolutely. It's so hard to, you want to press on the yo-yo, you don't want to press on the yo-yo, you block too long, sometimes you don't block enough. It's so hard to find a game plan against the new bridges that just can set you up like that. You got to find those counter hit jabs and those good spots. All right. Plus, plus oh, frame. <gasps> oh, Part really good strike throw. Oh. Here you go. Hold the baby. Okay. okay. Low pick up there with the super. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Can we get this momentum? No, we're still in Ooh, DP. No safe jump from Chrome. And now Super Noon is gonna try and push up, this advantage. Versus up and gets used immediately. Immediately. Ooh, Good this counter is. Oh, this is rough. Yeah. Oh, just wants to set him up. Doesn't want to take him through up. the wall. Yeah. That's... I respect it. <gasps> oh, no. He yeah. isn't able to get down in time and get the super. So much meter. Though. Chrome gets a chance. Woo, yeah. That's a scary burst. Oh, he's, oh good yeah, PRC. Yep. Enjoy oh. gun. Yeah. Last players. hit. <laughs> good jump block. Oh, right. him. Just out of there. Baby out. And then, yeah, full screen normal. That was me, too. Nah, definitely. I mean, Ikushitsu has definitely gone around the character carousel more than enough. Has seen the Ram. Has seen the Bridget. And now bringing their third character to Genesis in the Elf Belt. I'm excited to see this. I'm excited too. I'm excited to see. Anytime there's a new character I haven't seen in like a little bit, I'm so excited. That's why Frosty Top 8 was so good. You saw so many characters. Yes, sir. You're gonna see so many characters today because there's people that you know you might not see in like a, a stream setup. It's hard to stream everything. Yeah. So you get to see a lot of these players that are great and they're grinding and you get to show themselves off at Genesis. Yes, sir. Very excited. Speaking of show themselves off. Let's get things kicked off here. Land's gonna get that knock down Plus put the frame. dolphins on them but a really good back dash from ikushitsu puts them in advantage blocking the goes early burst we see it again projectile super slow <laughs> yeah. Honestly, love, love that move so slow <laughs> <laughs> i love it so much yeah i love the i love the seals seals are my favorite animal personally so whenever i get to see it used you know i'm always having a good time absolutely all right here we go lots of resets in the corner looking for something grabs gonna be enough to put him down Gonna scream at him. Ooh, OTG the fuzzy setup, I, baby! I didn't block. <laughs> I got hit. Nah, <laughs> I got hit. Nah, this, we are in the Elf Elf dimension right now. Good fuzzy from Ikashitsu. You're gonna take first blood in this set. We are not messing around. We've been in the lab. This this is this is day two. Yes. We, we are on day two. We're, we're gonna see a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it's like, it's day two. You gotta pull out all the stops. All these players are fighting for their right to try and qualify for that top eight, get themselves 
a nice little medal. And Ikashitsu is proving that Trust. here with how he is working Len right Trust. now. Right. Nice, nice little close slash counter hand. It's, it's May. It can turn in a second. 100%. Oh, nice. oh no. not like that, though. Yo, there is, we is go. she allowed to say that on stream? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Wait a, wait a minute, Elspel. Calm down there. Does a, a 60 second reversal and then. <laughs> <laughs> that. It looks like, oh, I gotta. Hit you, you with know, the watch a movie <laughs> her shooting you. It's crazy. 5K to start it. We're gonna try to see Land Leonard to kind of get some type of momentum. Last time we didn't see very much momentum coming from there. Yeah, I mean, both of these characters definitely need some momentum on Absolutely. their side. And it's looking like all of the juice is in Ikashisu's pocket right now. Overhead, I'm gonna red RC it. Yeah. Get the setup. Put a berry on him. Corner, the main problem. The main problem with Elfeld is the moment that you block that first Rekka, you're in the mix. Yeah, so you, you can't do anything. It. And then you gotta re you gotta recognize if they're gonna reset you. It's you gotta you gotta be blocking smart. Yeah, for a character that people say is bad, it is definitely a crazy spot to be in. Hey, we saw it at Frosty Top. It didn't great at Frosty Top Eight, but it was at Frosty Top Eight, so it, we're, we're, it was there. Elfo did indeed get an Evo medal. That is yes, correct. Yeah, I mean, not absolutely. Evo, uh, Frosty medal. My bad. Yeah, medal. yeah, absolutely. Gonna punish with that far side. Five K being super good, still can win punish here. Yeah. I need to see some of the situations. Oh, landing zone feels like it feels like the pieces are coming together. Yeah. Tried to challenge on that express, but isn't gonna quite be able to get it. Now land gonna get two K two D, put the pipe berry on him and go Mixed low. Up. Pineberry, high. Oh my gosh. Pineberry, mid, okay. Oh, I got hit, I went. Yeah, I, I, I got hit every time. I, I, I blocked the fuzzy. Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> look bro. Oh, are we gonna kill? We got guts here though. Yeah, probably not. No, yeah. no, 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 May, no May is shot. still, wow. May yeah. still has those crazy guts. He's still Japanese. Down. Choose the back dash, He's gonna try to take it slow. He's gonna catch the 2K, 2D. So easy to just approach. Yeah, I mean, Ikushitsu came out and is here to play. This is running the set so far. We're gonna go back to character select, so we, yeah. we might try to see something in an attempt to get some momentum. If you're not feeling your character, we're so far into strive that it's so good to have two characters. Yes. If you're not feeling a momentum, and uh, they were they were talking about it at Frosty's, and like these oh. aren't these aren't troll picks. These are like th these are actual counter picks. We're gonna see Whoa. the the Milia. Way Billy, different huh? than May. Way different than May. Way different approach. So maybe a different oh. type of approach to the matchup is gonna bring a little bit different uh, outcome. Are we gonna get some momentum? Get some hard knockdowns? Yeah. Make him block a little bit. Make someone block. Get him scared. Yeah, it's like tr trying to opt out of that strike throw game. We've been seeing a lot of backdash. Maybe wants to find mm -hmm. some offense that can just prevent that backdash from even Absolutely. happening. I want to see how this pick looks because I've never seen the. L I've never ever seen the land Milia. Yeah, Ikushizu is doing really good at, you can see they're, uh, they're controlling that space with 2K, 2D. Running up, dash blocking, 2K, 2D. All right, here we go. We got oh, Ikushizu getting things started once again. Gotta put him through the wall. wall Scream break. at him a little bit, baby. Let's go. And now we have Ikushizu hit here with a hard knockdown. Okay. Push the corner, see some free mechanics. All right. The air dash with the grab. We got meter, we're good. There we go. Another reset. Just gonna keep that positioning, oh. continuing to run the match. Oh my gosh! And now Ikushitsu is sitting in match point. Match with point so fast. Big counter hand. Oh, gonna push no. to the corner. Gonna be Goki. I will say Wreck the main again. thing that's different here in this matchup is the amount of health you get to work with. Oh, Milia absolutely. is a piece of paper. Yeah. Is it? Oh, oh we what saw a throw! It. I, I saw, we have seen that. We've seen that. Oh, it's the crap. Hit him with the throw again, and now mix more it. Gets the throw again. Maybe we're gonna see the fast nice. RC. Nice. Taking that to winners. Run if you don't play Guilty Gear. And they're like, let's try this character. And they're like, wow, this character's awesome. <laughs> so you're gonna see a lot of them. Yeah. I'm excited. I love this character. I like watching him play. I was gonna say, I was like, we saw a lot of make cameos in the Smash scene, particularly the Buzz is the one that the comes Buzz, to mind. Absolutely. The Buzz is a good player. I I had some friends playing against him and lost him in tournament, like actually here, but like, yeah, he's not messing around. He's a great player for a reason. These Smash players come to play, not just in Smash. Yes, sir. Well, we got some Guilty Gear players here to play right now. We got Perk 30 coming up on the main. Ooh. Getting the command grab on Catatonic and Faust. Dead. Nice backdash yes. on the plus frames there. We're gonna push from the back. What's gonna happen? We're gonna shoot up the trumpet, get some healing. Okay. Gonna trip. Doesn't matter uh, if I whip the command grab. A blockable question mark? I, I didn't block it. Bed. And now we're gonna take Catatomic is gonna take Perk through the wall. 
Catch that back dash. Gonna jab out of the dolphin cancel. Can't jump out of that. That's half screen. That goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah, Cat Atomic is just sitting here trying to put on a performance. Even more Faust, as I was saying. For some reason, this region loves this character. This character's awesome. I'm so glad I get to watch these. These are like my two favorite characters to watch. I'm, I'm having a great time. Gonna 5H, gonna put him in the corner. Early burst, does not want to hold that. Put in the corner still. Oh. I See, saw I saw the little FD trying to push Perk right into the bomb news. He's gonna press some buttons. But now, Perk is gonna be able to take him through the wall Classic. and get himself Perk some advantage of his own. Safe jump, we're gonna see the safe jump. Now we're gonna see the best move in the game. Oh, That's no. what we're gonna see. <laughs> yeah, okay, YRC out. Gonna push back, doesn't matter, we got Dolphin. Yep. Oh, Ooh. that should be it, did not cancel it. <gasps> Sometimes it's hard to, if you buffer that, that heavy Dolphin, you gotta react to it. Yeah, it doesn't like matter, gonna jump that. May players, we be holding up, absolutely. You're not grabbing us. The rare oh. guilty gear link <laughs> has to come out whenever you hit that combo. Na name a, a better combo than May players holding up. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, it's a match made in heaven. Valentine's Day just passed, but uh, you know what? <laughs> I haven't seen a better couple yet. No, absolutely not. Here we go. Both these players trying to play Playing their game, control. their neutral okay. game. Ooh, Ooh. accidental burst, maybe? Oh, that burst was a. Uh, I don't know if that was accidental or intentional, but uh, I don't think I've seen a burst with. Ooh, 6P, mini pass. Oh, we're gonna get the 3K. We have our own stun dipper. Corner reset. Ooh, good just block to block that cross up. We're gonna get the 2K. Oh, this is death. That's that's gonna finish it. Oh, no. oh, unless, okay. I forgot that May has crazy guts and Faust does a lot of hits. Okay, Gold burst. We both got meter. Uh -oh. Mini Faust. Mini Faust's on the screen, go though. We, we got a bomb oh. in the stomach. 3K, we got stun dipper. We're gonna whiff, no! What oh. a jab by Atomic Cat to just bring that round back, to take it back. To be able to see that, how fast everything's happening, no one wake up and press jab. Great great awareness. The jaws of defeat. I can't believe it. It's so easy to take your hand off your stick. And it's takes better <laughs> it takes better discretion to not, just in case, yeah. playing Guilty Gear. Like, yeah, I mean, you gotta... Back, back throw incidents happen all the time. Yeah, you gotta make sure that you are locked in, and Cat Atomic is proving it right now. This man has nerves of steel. Absolutely. There you go. What's the mix, game. baby? That's the the mix is that throw! Yeah, are you, are you, I'm not damage. pressing on that jab. I'm getting grabbed. I'm taking it. Okay. Pressing on May there, it's like, it's the rare occurrence where taking the throw into 40% is the right option. Ah. <laughs> you said it out loud. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the five, five age. Finding great momentum this round. Just what a May player wants. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Like I said, May is a very momentum-based character. If Ooh. you're on the back foot, it's a bit hard to come nice. out. And Perk 30 is just trying to take this momentum right it's back. Weird. We see a lot of mini fouls. I always see that dude patrol in the streets. Yeah, he's a, always walking around. Yeah, that man is going crazy out here. He's a, he's keeping ten toes down here for fouls. Ooh, tap us. No one ever expects it from May. You don't have to block too high against May very often. Yeah. She doesn't really have much mix, but when you do a tap dust, you don't see that animation too much. It could take you by surprise. Oh, a lot of meter to work with. Gonna go back full screen. Gonna throw that trumpet down. Oh, We're gonna get it. He's Is gonna, it gonna land help? into the. Oh! Yep, I knew it. He was gonna land into the boys coming Everyone's through. Betrayed by the squad. No, Damn. no FD. No FD. Didn't think about it. It's it's hard to. There's too many things to think about. Yeah, there are definitely too many moving parts. It's sitting here, one apiece, and now. Left. See, Perk 30, like that heavy dolphin in a lot. Like Faust kind of. There's only one move that's really gonna, like, kind of smash that. So okay, push in the corner. But it's the move that Faust should be doing anyway. And it's that six feet. Yes, absolutely. That move is insane. Uh, that 5K crazy uh, anti-air too. I don't think I've ever hit a 5K. I mean, Faust <laughs> is just like. Faust is just that character where uh, they just kind of anti air for you just by virtue of playing the character. You'll kind of swat him out of the sky. Yeah, I think that two, is it 2K or 2S when it comes out of a corpse that, of yeah, himself. Yeah, 2S. That move is wild. <laughs> that, see, another 6B just like we're talking about. In the air so the weight does not affect you. Weight's going to land right on the head, getting that combo confirmed. Mini Faust cleaning it up. Yes, sir. Mini, Mini Faust wants some action, too. <laughs> he wants some, too. He's in. He's like, Let me square up real quick. <laughs> nah. Catatomic is in here. No burst, Playing but has the round advantage. Nah, more, more Mini Faust again. Yeah, Mini Faust is back. Oh, nice pickup. That was barely picked up. We got to check the, the item frequency here in the settings here because of. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> mini Faust has been coming out in full force, and here he is again. We're, we're, we're not choosing. We don't want Meteors. We want Mini Faust. We, this, want, we want to win neutral. This man wants his screen time, and I respect it. Why do you think I'm here meter, right now? What's the mix? No mix. Just yeah. going to take it in the head. Here we Speaking go. Speaking of head, we got. Oh, Hi. there we go. Oh, drop. <laughs> 
Oh, this is a bad position. Catatomic finding their, their momentum in the set. Very great. Perk 30 is a, More. a bit of an awkward spot. Mini Faust. Mini Faust is out yeah, here. Look at him. Block it. Get dust. Half dust. Dinger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Take, All right. Takes him 450 dead center and then hits him with the scalpel. I love Faust, man. He's so funny. Bro. So good. Oh, what a good set. I'm having such a good time. <laughs> oh, we're going back. Character select. Are we taking a breather? Are we changing something? Yeah, maybe we're just, you know, taking some time. Maybe he wants to change the music. I respect it. Absolutely. Oh, no. Don't, oh, do, he don't do it. No, go back. Go back. Don't do it. Hey. I'm down. Oh, okay. I'll take good. a bedman. I, I'm a bedman secondary. Yeah. I love that character. Don't like playing neutral as that character. I'll I love. Say it. I love the base. <laughs> I love the baseline going on in, a, in the circle. So I can't be too mad. These are my two two most listened to songs. All my friends love it when I put on Disaster of a Passion and we play for nine hours. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure they don't get sick of it. No. I'm sure they're fine with that. <laughs> they never. Absolutely not. Oh, switching make colors. Yeah. Maybe it, sometimes. Color I, diff. I, I've done that sometimes. Just a little bit different. Different on the eyes. Maybe a little bit. Make, make you feel a little different. Maybe you think about doing something different. It's got to be the case here. Uh, I don't know. I feel like switching colors is like, it almost signifies shifting your mentality, you know, trying Sh to. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Trying a different different approach, maybe. Exactly. I, I feel like I've done that before. It's like, even if your play doesn't change up too much, you know, you still get that time to breathe. You get a new atmosphere. Get that bright orange. You're, you're a ball of danger. Yeah, it's like, this color is so bright. Man. I never even realized. Yeah, no, that's, that's why. Uh, I, I thought it was so cool they put out the, the red and black hoodie. I, I like the May hoodie, it's just orange oh. is too loud. Mini Faust said nice combo. Oh, backs up, up into more, more meteors. We're oh just going to keep throwing yeah, keep stuff. Mini Faust is back. Yo, gotcha? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, oh, oh Mini Faust said nah. Wasn't That's going to pick up. That picks up. We're going to whiff that, though. That was crazy. Got the combo there <laughs> off of the Afro explosion. Is Perk 30 on Thrust or is it Cat? Because it's looking like he's got these items way under control. More items. Mini Faust back out. Does not matter. Oh Up my Dolphin's god! Gonna catch that. Oh, it does it! No, the it hammer hit him. The hammer hit. Oh, I didn't oh, even know. No. It's too many things. Here we go. Yeah. These items are coming out in full force, and Perk Thirty is able to get it sometimes. But yeah, Catatomic is really showing that he's the one on Fauci for sure. I, I think too many items are being thrown. It's, it's too rough to. Oh, he's gonna try to continue the combo. Every time you get an opening, the, the squad pulls up. Mini Faust pulls up. Oh. We, we, we get the bounce. That's a guard crush now, so that means four more items, which means more meteors, which means more yep. mini fouls, which means more items. Which means more hammers, <laughs> which, which means more trumpet. More hammers, which means another trumpet, which means three K-Jack, which means RC, which means the squad pulling up. Oh, oh into the Oki. I like the reset okay. there. I love that reset. Yeah, reset more items, six K. more mini fouls. He's walking away. He's out. All right. And squad got the back. <laughs> Look, counter hit. If, no, if nobody's got me, I know Mini has got me. Same situation. Catatomic needs one more hit. Win that set. Didn't even realize that it was set point here. Are the Meteors going to do it? Oh, and he faked it's it. The he mix. stayed same side. He stayed same side. You don't know what's going to happen. You, you, yeah. can, you can get the break speed out of you. You could. It could be someone who just picked it up. Who knows? Angie's always a wild card, but we know that Braun, like you're saying, yes, is going to start it off just like this. And here we are. We got Brown going through the wall. Going to take him through the hard knockdown, hard baby. Hard knockdown. Close slash. Going to grab the classic season one. The dust. You know that uh, that butterfly is coming high. Yes, sir. And put him through the wall one. once again. Two hard again. knockdowns. Two times through the wall. And the tap does to close things out. That burst. Don't believe in yourself that much. That's, I, that's my, I burst there. I have one HP, I'm the GOAT. I'm, I'm coming back, I got burst. Nah, I win. Get it. that command grab. Too far away, actually. You can mash out of it if it's a counter hit too far away. Yep. That, that command grab has to be a close range dolphin. A lot of people don't realize that they can mash it. Yes, sir. I mean, that's why I love playing bridges. I If I gold, if I gold, uh, if I gold mash, I always get out. I can always back down. Yeah. But, Brone doesn't Good quite job. have that same luxury, but he does have the luxury of okay. taking him through the wall Getting once eight again. Wall breaks, yep. yep. <laughs> wall break. Luxury we get. Wall break number 68 coming through. What are we going to see? Last time was Tap Dust to catch it. This should be a safe. Super oh, no, calls about the fake safe jump. Really good stuff for Franker J. Six now he's going to get the strike throw here. See a different oh, approach to the Wild Salt. Pressure. The whip punish on the 2P is something that I thought that I would never nice. say on the mic, but the 6P from Brown to take game number one. RC 6P, you got 50 meter. You hear that goofy ass sound from May jumping. You can yeah. press RC. <laughs> they can't do something that fast. It's, I don't know what type of Mario <laughs> sound effects artist got in the booth, but yeah. they were cooking a little bit. Goes over there with the Rin, gets the throw, and now Broden's going to get his ambiguous. offense started. Just keeping it ambiguous. Something different every time. Yes, sir. 
That's how you play this game. Yeah, Franker J gets anti air. Get now, out of here. They have a chance. The Gonna try. Ooh. And getting hit by the BRC overhead. Rose offense is looking peak right now. You gotta see. One more time. And 2P tries to run in. But we are gonna see Brown going in with the perfect. That is three rounds straight from this kid. Chest block, keeping away. Looking for some momentum to start. Every time you get something, I'm just, just like, just go away. 5K starter, gonna let him go full screen. I assume no charge there. It's sometimes hard to get that confirmed charge. You have to know yeah. it's gonna be there. Yeah, it's like, I mean, that's the thing about these charge characters, is especially. You know, against these against Ooh. these other characters where you gotta hold forward at least sometimes, mm -hmm. it's gotta be really hard to manage that charge. But the JK, JT, nice, good start. That was that was the best you could do in the corner there, I think. Yep, not gonna quite be able to kill. He, not killing yet. He's quite Close. Japanese. I think. He, he is. He's a bit Japanese. Same with me. You get oh. that trip. Like I said last time. Oh, the six P oh. still is able to hit. Now, Franker J My needs corner. to just close this out here. A block dolphin, anything nice. but a two S will work just fine. Two S works great. Good old, good old reliable. Yes, sir. Here we go. Find, find some momentum in the set. Finding yourself. Sometimes it takes a game or two to find yourself. Yeah, That's it's like, it. even if you don't get that momentum, you just need to put a stop sign on bro's momentum if you want to have a chance exactly. to take it this set. Here we go. Oh, the far slash. Hit, no burst oh my God. Inside. We're going to get a wall break. It's a more positive bonus. Into 50 meter already. Into 50 burst. This Andre character is a little, he's a little good. He's pretty good this season. Oh, he's resets. Whoa, that, doesn't that even, it? Doesn't even want to give him a chance to burst. Just take him through the wall, kill that's him, it. and that's going to be 2-0 for Bro. Yeah, found, found, the, found the momentum once again. You're saying Bro's Bron, a killer. Yes, sir. Absolutely, cool. don't doubt it. Yeah, that kid, that kid is good. He's a little good. Very good. But Franker J, I need him. I, I want to see something, man. Like, I'm telling you. It's there. They, they got some good stuff for, I'm not hitting those confirms. They're hitting sometimes, <laughs> too. So they, they, got, they got some stuff in their pockets. It's finding, it's finding that that push forward. It seems Brown's so good at controlling their space and not doing the same thing consistently. It's so important. Yes, sir. The overhead, 50 meter, do what we want. Umbrella combo, it's raining out. Yeah, but it's like it's raining out. Anji came Lots prepared, of though. damage. Come on. We all can do that damage. Let's go. Oh, yeah. These two players, I got to say, the one thing that is a bit uncharacteristic of this Ooh. matchup is that counter super. I don't think it's going to be enough to kill. Bro, one more setup. But what I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted by the greatest <laughs> play that I've seen is that we're seeing a very patient, a very spacing oh, play the game. <laughs> it does not like to play volleyball. That bird was out. Yeah, that, <laughs> that bird is coming, descending from the heavens. And putting Bro on set point here. Good check. Good watch. Pushing him in the corner. Way to find that. All right. Big counter hit. Take it through once again. What is happening right now? I feel like the set has gone by so quickly. It's, it's been fast. It's Bro's so good at finding the one hit. And Anji can just take full screen. Going to bait out season three mechanics. Is that going to be enough? It should oh, 100%. Be. The Absolutely. GG's coming out already. GG's. Good Put a fan man. on him, and that is going to be a 3-0 sweep for Brown. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like, I mean, when you look at the top 32, like, this is definitely shaping out to be more than a regional, you know? It's like, even though it is only regional talent, the regional talent in the California, in the, in the Vegas, in that West Coast yeah. area is so strong that it's like the, a major, I mean, a regional is only just a, it's only formality, you know? Yeah, no, we, we, I think Jonathan Tenney's here, too, if I yes. believe. JT, Ar 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 Arxis, uh, qualifier. We don't need to go to the LCQ this weekend. We yeah. can be here, we can game <laughs> out. I'm already, I'm already there. Yep. LCQ is going to be on March 21st. Very excited. All right, but we're sitting here. Now, Sweden is off to a hot start. Now, I will say the one thing about this matchup that is so crucial is that Elfelt has no DP, and her reversal is, in retrospect, pretty bad uh, it's for this matchup. It's slow. It doesn't catch everything that most reversals would catch them. Yeah. Yeah. And then Bridget's like, I don't need me. Yeah. I press forward down forward. And I'm good to go. Yeah, absolutely. Pressure reset. Another pressure reset. Yeah. Hard to catch overhead. Let me do another reset. YRC, get that yo-yo out of here. My corner. DP, Ooh, the DP. Four down four. Saying. Yes, sir. It's like even though you don't got a DP, I got one right on deck, baby. Mm. That starship, let's that starship fly is gonna sit over here with first blood. That's uh, one thing I think as the elf you gotta be more aware of is there's you have gaps in your stuff. Yes. And these characters have DPs that they don't need meter for sometimes. So it's you gotta approach these matchups differently. Your pressure has to be less 
it has to be more tight than you're used to. Or less tight in certain areas. It's you just gotta get creative with it. That's that's why we're here. Yes, sir. It's that's like why a... they're here is because they can get creative with it. Yep, Elva has a lot of that character expression and block back get the punish. Dash. Sometimes it's I hard wonder, to see. I wonder if they wanted the first bait or something, but it's gonna sit here. Baby. It gets the rock, the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby is getting rocked. Put Elfel to sleep. Super Newton is gonna take this first game. Feeling great. Feeling great. Great momentum. It, it, Sorry, who wants the turn? Yeah, it, it's his. The man, <laughs> this man is hungry. Do you see the Stone Cold face after yeah, he takes that first game? Nothing. Nothing there but dust. It's like, I mean, honestly, if I'm super new, oh, oh I want that 6P. I was going to say, I want momentum I mean, going side. into the LCQ, but, uh, you know, it's like, it looks like he doesn't even need momentum. His play is speaking for itself. As we say that, Ikushitsu is going to get a good start, though. Tries to go low, but blocked by Super New. 6P, reset, push to the corner. What are we going to do? Yep. Once again, blocks the blocks Ooh. the cross up low. Last but hit, Wreck is going to hit. Get the reset. And other corner. Oh, the cross up. What a cross up. There, there's an inch full of space. I'm taking it. Oh, oh wow. Fireball coming yeah. in from left. The fireball was scary. I got yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I forgot about it instantly. Ooh, Ooh. I don't even know what move that was. That's JS. Yeah. That's JS. Puts it, hits him with the gun wow. behind the back. Wow. Cool. 360 no scope from Elfel. Uh, Bridal Express. Got to push. Super Ooh, slow to good, the corner, but able to yet. fight his way out. Yeah. Push into the corner. Set up there. Letting him jump in. Ooh. Good jump back. Push him back to the corner. Can't backdash here. I'm Bridget. Oh, no. YRC out, good. Wait for the aerial. Can't Pretty risky roll, but the risk gets averted by Ikushitsu himself. Super Noon gonna take this round, tie things up one apiece in the second game. Duel three. Here we go. I'm ready to see how this round start goes. Looks like backdash, very fast approaches from both of our players. Good six piece. She wasn't get started. Early burst. Don't want to hold that. I know you have burst. No one has burst. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Set up. Here we got. Safe jump, low, overheads. Yeah. Oh, that overheads again. Gets, gets pretty slow there with the roll and isn't able to get out that Kara super. We got to see how detrimental forward. this is because <laughs> if we're being honest, Elfo can bring this back at any instant. Any second, yeah, absolutely. Gets hit high More once again. Yeah, those highs are so rough. Yeah. See, oh, you can see. Ooh. Oh, again. Yeah. yeah, in a rough spot. Now remember, this is a top eight qualifier. Yeah. Not only is Super Noon on match point, he's yeah. on metal point. He's on top eight point. And it's so important to go into that top eight winner side too. You yes. Play so many less matches. Yep. Yeah. Win one. It's like, oh, I'm sitting pretty. Yeah. Uh, that's I'm, you're in the money. You win one. Really. So <laughs> I'm telling you, the when you get in on winner side, there are just so many Valentine. advantages Valentine. that come with being on the winner side. You play less matches. You get an extra life. If you happen to screw up, you get momentum. Like, there are so many benefits to being on the winner's side that even if Ikushutsu or Super Noon is able to come back and make that loser's run, you've got a hill to climb if you want yeah, to win this whole thing. And there's, uh, again, there's so many good players here. So it's rough. You got to keep that momentum. You got to keep that mentality. It's so exhausting. To, I don't know if, as a competitor, I, I play four sets, and I'm like, I got to lay down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can run 90 friendlies, but I play four sets, I got to sleep. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the brain power is going too crazy. It's like it's like that rumor where they were like, you you lose weight because you're sweating in chest from all that brain the power. In the chest, yep. like, yeah, you burn 9,000 calories. It's like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, Guilty Gear, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Yeah, no, absolutely. All right, goes low. Gets Which the block, got, we, though. We do got the Ram pick. We haven't, we haven't talked about that yet. Ram's coming out. Maybe looking for a shift in momentum. L felt maybe Ooh. not as as comfortable into a super top player like Sir. like Super Noon there. Yeah, I mean, I always say when you have when you have a counter pick or you try to pick something mid game into the set, you got to give yourself a one game tax, right? You know that more likely than not you're going to be losing an extra game. So switching when you're down 2-0 usually is an incredibly risky move. Which is, yeah, that's. Sometimes it's needed. If you're not getting things started, you don't want to go into it again feeling that that same hole. All right. Oh, Ika shoots though Rekka's. in the driver's seat. Here we go. Goes high. Just kidding. Don't Here listen she, to me. Tight, nice grab. I set it up with that Rekka. And yeah. you're playing against someone who knows the character so well too. So it's yeah, like not there. only. I was gonna say it's like Ooh. not only is that one of the attacks gonna come out, you gotta pay that against a former Super. Ram Goat. The, the, the Ram Goat. Super Noon SQ, 
coming out here showing us. Eskew still playing. She's doing great on, on, the, on the ramp still. Yeah, Ikushitsu has one more chance. The burst is gone. And now has to block this mix. Gets hit! The overhead again. Overhead. Wait, one, one more try. One, one more chance. Try. Season three mechanics. No more. Oh, the yo-yo catches. It's rough. Is hold the reset or hold the. <laughs> All nah, right, nah, let's nah, go, nah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a big pot fan. I I yeah. love seeing pot. You don't see him in the top eight. Oh, we're just getting things started. I thought just we were gonna get a game check. They want a game. Oh yeah, first that. If you want to see some crazy pot stuff, this is the kid to watch. I mean, really? this oh. man just does the most random stuff. But guess what? You're still getting hit. So we we got uh in our region we got ankle gator. Yes. The, the pizza box yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, pizza man? Yeah, pizza box man. And you see him do combos, just run his <laughs> hand across. His, yeah, so I, I've seen some silly pot stuff, but it's always so fun. You really haven't seen this character in a top eight too often since, like, CEO in Texas. Yeah. Showdown, I think. Yeah, so, so we saw some guys with the whole thing, but we could see. We could see we it. We could see Brad etch his name in pot history. Absolutely. But it looks like round one might. Ooh, oh, bouncing. Not going to get that oh kill my because God. of those bounces. Yeah, that was a pretty uh, random one hit. One more shot. If there's anything oh. Pot's known as being in disadvantage, yep. so we, we can work our way out of it. However, wasn't able to quite get the meter for the PRC that he wanted. But it's not Spins a bad, it wasn't a bad round. Yeah. We don't want to feel bad about that round. Feel good. A few more hits and then Ooh. boom. Yeah, like you always got to be scared though. Whenever you do that forward Mega Fist, you always have to, you always have to know that you're putting yourself at risk. Yeah. So again, it doesn't matter. Boom, going to get that back dash. Yeah. Blocking that. Going for the hammer fall. Oh, nice. Minus 50, put it in the bag. Bird saving the day. Oh! oh jump in the heavenly! Up? I got 50 meter! Get the hell out my skies! Brett is gonna put him in the dirt! Boom. Let's dirt. go! Now it's a one interaction game. And Ooh. gets hit! Oh wow, that was Try to 6 i I'm not, I can't 6 that move. Oh. It's been years. <laughs> it's like, I, I still can't 6 that move. Right. Put in the corner, slide it out, right. 2D, neutral I'm jumps. I'm curious to see it, Brock. Ooh. That's what it takes! Slide head. Oh, 2D. No. Gonna get spun this is not gonna on. kill. Last interaction. Again. Oh, <laughs> it's been a last interaction for a little bit. And nice. Gets Ford Mega the Fist. Mega Fist. <laughs> what a piece, yeah, baby. He's laughing. He's Let's laughing. go. <laughs> he's having a good time. Right, let's go, bro. I I think that these that have, all the times these two have played. I don't think Rob has ever won a set. Really? So if he were to, oh, if he were to get okay. this win now, nah, you're gonna Feeling see me good. standing Feeling up. Feeling good on the stage. You got the stage buff. Feeling good on the last set. Stream's gonna get a good look Ooh. at my sweater because they're gonna see my face, bro. I'm gonna be right <laughs> above that camera. All right, all right. All right. Take him through the wall. Now I will say, a very Looking very good. fortunate Looking position. Good. Oh, but back dash. Here we go. White wild assault. Great mechanic. Ooh, now, will the dust to call that out? Not far enough, sadly. Oh, hard on. 2K, 2D. This is where it starts. Oh. He's able to get the new looking piece. for something fuzzy, something funny in the background. We're just going to neutral jump. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't get jabbed or something yeah. on the way. It's like, surely I don't get 6P. No. Yeah. No, but not. it looks like Brown is going to go here with the 1-0. We have to see. This is the battle of the crowd favorite versus the seed favorite. Oh, we're going to get a back throw incident. Big moves. Slide head. We're going to dash block that. Oh, it's, it's not season one. We're, we're, we're still blocking slide head now. Ooh, a little yeah. shimmy, a little Street Fighter action. Oh, good well, jump rate actually, but still able to press a button faster. Yeah. Gonna get that hard yeah. knockdown. What's gonna happen? Another oh, back dash. Wanted a safe jump and isn't able to get it. Brody's gonna get a massive combo. Push in the corner, gonna drop it. RC oh. to save it. Six wow. P. He actually got saved there by the uh, by the six P. Because I know he wanted to car a buster, but White Wild Assault. Oh, hold it. Caught him. Oh, this is gonna be punished. Yep, punish with Back the throw. throw and now again, bird not Gets holding the bird. Purposely hit I'm by not, the bird. Uh, I, yep, I don't care. What awareness from Braff to purposely get hit by the bird I got so that he can get that throw. All right, man. You can tell these two play each other too much, bro. Get a new <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, is, this is personal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which, able to spin through that 6K. Take a ball Brad's scrapping. Yeah, like, we're, we're throwing out moves. We're not sitting back, holding, waiting for something. We're we're scrapping. We're throwing out you. moves. If, if one, I told you, you want some, you want some crazy pot gameplay? Yeah, Oh, absolutely. he wanted the Kara again. Isn't able to get it. Oh, whiffs that grab. A little too far. Not we're playing guilty here. You got to be touching. You got to hug that person. Could be a kill for Bruce. Think so? We're, we're fat. Oh, yeah, we're fat. That's my bad. Thought. My yeah. fault. My fault. I don't recognize. We're back dash. Back dash heavy. 
He got it me sometimes. Yeah. Oh, control that space. Oh, that, I gotta say that back back of in the corner Ooh, is so White crazy. Assault. Oh, catches him. Ooh! Oh my god, right, one more. Final interaction. Jabs, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. It. Yeah, that's what I was talking about last time. It's like, do I jump? Do I get that? Do I get jabbed? I don't know. Broad is going to get on the board here. You see that side from Broad? You see, this is traditionally a match where he, you know, kind of gets to relax. Literally, you saw it. He thought he was going to play the bed man and do it. And now Brav is giving him a run for his money. All right. Hammerfall, jump and hammerfall. Slide head, hammerfall. We're down there. Push in the corner. Good grab. Hit the OK. Yeah. Hit him with the top dust, take him to the wall, get the hard knockdown. We've got plenty of meter for some bigs. This is looking like we see a back dash sure. last three times there, so we knew that was coming. Run, yeah. run up close slash until you need. Yeah. That's the kill. Absolutely. I will say, in terms, of, in terms of just knowing the player's habits, uh, when Brown finds an option at the beginning of the set, he tends to stick with it. Mm -hmm. So if Brown is able to recognize that, then he might be able to just run away with this. Catching those back dash, not letting the Tempkin feel safe. That's it's your it's your job to make them feel like their characters are just She's not moving. Yep. <laughs> and, and it looks like Brun's doing a great job getting another reset. Hard knockdown. What's gonna happen? Last time ran up close slash. Doing it again just in case that back dash happened. But we're gonna hold it. Good choices. If I had a nickel for every single time that I've seen the Brun hard knockdown through the wall, another I'd be able to one. buy a whole nother Genesis pass. Yeah. That's crazy. I have a drinking game. <laughs> Wall, every wall break. <laughs> yeah, it's like I, would, I don't think I'd be able to speak English by the time I'm finished that. <laughs> Far slash from Brown takes game number three great with the momentum. quickness. Feeling great. I yeah. Think. Feel, feeling more confident. A little yeah. bit of a sigh last round, but feeling better. Had to lock in real quick. Sit up, the, the sit up gamer pose. No, yeah, no yeah. slouching. Yeah, exactly. Good shimmies into close slashes. He saw, so, the, he saw that Brown took a game and he's like, nah, I gotta, I gotta lock in real quick. What do I do? That's how Brown really knows uh, their ranges. Like they'll shimmy, yeah. get that. Sometimes it's I shimmy and I get far slash. And then, oh, nope. hits him with the counter super. We're going Takes back. to the other side. We're he said, back. you thought you were out of the corner, didn't yeah. you? Ooh. Instant low. Nah. The North. Now, do you know what we call it when Brown is sitting there shimmying you, hitting you with those far slashes, those five H's? It's known? What would we call it? That's the bro zone, baby. No, we're That's the, the bro zone. zone. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Back dash, back to the corner. Oh, gonna whiff that OP. Zone. Tries to hit him with the 50-50, but the far slash is gonna we be all that up. he needs. Yeah. No, he's gonna go for the burst, and now Brav is gonna sit yeah. here on the back seat of this qualifier. I no burst. Two. What Ooh. the heck? We got butt. What's up? Butt round start. <laughs> Shaking butt. 2D. 2D's really big. Counter at 5P. Not gonna hold that. We're gonna push you a little bit farther to that edge. Put a butterfly a on him. Spinning. Bird. Flying like a bird. Good nah. Potemkin is gonna fly like a bird through this wall, baby. Again, yep, yep. Take a Let's shot. Again, take a shot. There we go. There we go. Back that. No. BRC command oh, grab. Grab him out of that spin. Cut. Take him to the other side. We're not that. doing anything. Oh, we're going back yeah, again. Again. Send it back. Yeah, Brown just keeps on trying to find his way out of this corner. So here's Brown have meter every time I look at him. <laughs> I, <laughs> He's always doing something with meter. Too much. <laughs> and Bird goes. too much. Hold down that neutral. It, I, but you know, <laughs> I, I get I get heat no matter where I go. My wife's like, "What color you like better?" I'm like, "You do." It's like, it's like, <laughs> I'm like, do you, "I don't do you know." Not, <laughs> it's like, have we not read the room? <laughs> Oh, we are getting things started Big here. Counter hit, Get season three mechanics. Out. Make them block. Nice back dash. Now, if I am not mistaken, I don't think that we've seen the Chrome Faust on stream yet. I don't think we've seen I it on stream. So, no. Like, but we are going to get a chance to see it here against Mr. Kevin. Far Mr. slash, Kevin. classic. Such a good normal. Throw up. Like we said, when Ooh. you play Kai, oh! oh. No. Like the whip and the stage plus and the grab. Oh my gosh. Like you were saying, when you're at a top 10 level in any game, any game, it doesn't your matter. Your fundamentals yeah, are going to come out. It doesn't and matter. And QBU is showing that Absolutely. off at its finest. 6P, going to take that stun dipper, push it. FC grab, good situational awareness. Mini yeah. Faust coming out, hold down that neutral. Mini oh, Faust going to get blown up. the bomb. Hold that. Now going to be instant strike throw with that mini fast. Gets another one. What is going on with the mini fast lecture? He wants his time to shine on top eight, too. I mean, technically, it's supposed to be your most gotten item, I believe. But is it? we've just been seeing him Still. at a crazy rate. Yeah. So. RC, do a little soul action. Yeah, tries to go low, but the funny thing about that is that since the first hit is a mid, you have time to go and block low if you hit him with the two. Yeah, with two exactly. It's sometimes in those situations, it's hard to realize that. Yeah. Though. Even even if you've done it a hundred times, it's like, yeah. 
That reset burst, full screen. We're more Mini Faust jumps over him. Take Flip him. kick, Mini Faust coming back. Oh, Mini Faust is gonna let him combo. Oh! Uses the hit stuff from the Mini Faust. 2v1. To extend, look at that. Yo, Zato won? I yeah. thought he was out of the game. Ice Climbers? Yeah, <laughs> what's up? Six P. You don't need to get super fancy with Kai. You kind of have to sometimes, but you can 6P, do some far slashes, yep. a few wild assaults. I like how that fireball still hits barely as they stand up. Should be able to crouch under that one a little bit, though. More crouching. Here we go here. Hits with a 2K, 2D. Even though we're sitting here throwing fireballs, we're still keeping that space. Yep. Yeah, Kevin wanted that space. Yeah. You know we're going to crouch under it, but you can't do anything when you're crouching under it. So you can walk up. Ooh, Ooh that's, notices that. That space is just so crucial. Like, whenever you... Oh, you want that burst so bad. Yeah. Chrome finding the one spot where he's allowed to. Gets the nice. JD, okay. and this is looking like an optimal spot. Ooh, oh, no, the command. last hit. You see the last boy? Yep. Last boy set it up. Here we go. All right. Goes low. Fire. Hits him overhead. Okay. Goes high again! Oh, and nice! Goes out to the flex shield. Oh. Krohn brings it out from the ashes. Krohn was in the air for like eight seconds. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Bouncing off the afro, getting the resets. Great. He said, let me go here. Let me let me get the reset. Then gets him with the JD, jumps up, calls out to the flex shield. Wait, wait, Krohn's aerial momentum crazy. too. Because yeah. that's exactly. part of QPU is doing great. First, he's able to bring it back. More mini fouls again. Yeah, get at him. He's able to jump. Mini fouls can't jump that high. Get over there. And now Fireball gonna just, take that. Able to sit up and grab the Faust trumpet. Faust gonna wiggle across the screen as he does when you grab trumpet. I gotta say, a lot of people are not ready for the JPJD since it does bring your area, it brings your gravity a lot higher once you whiff a button. So Ooh, it kind of puts it at a nice tricky timing. Yeah. Push in the corner, avoid that. Oh, hit him with the grab. Or we're gonna oh. do a little bit of strike. We, we, we saw, yeah, we saw the throw last time. So expecting the throw. Parsing back, bursting back, hanging out with Mini Faust. See what's gonna happen. Oh. Flip kick over Mini Faust again. Does not want to hang out with that. What a Fuja arc from Yu He's gonna take Chrome Gonzalez through the wall with a hard knockdown. Nice. Just, just end it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Like now, I will say though, even though he does have that round advantage, he has no burst. No burst. No. No meter at all. Which we see again how much that is important. Another six P, more Mini Faust. Gonna jump over him, not interested. Mini Faust gonna come back, jump over again, not interested. Jump over again, not interested. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, a little bit of Kai zoning incorporated. I love it. Oh, nice. really DP good use able of the to take DP. you over the, yeah. Mini Faust covering that whiff grab. And now the six P, let's extend that. Take him to the other side, but you can't drop those if you wanna do that. Good. The 2H, little, little full screen zoning, got a banana out there, hold it. It's always insane how far that hits. Another mini Faust. Another one, push him into it. Oh, he went over it, He barely. went over the mini Faust. Barely, that's such a bad, oh. I hope it doesn't cost too much. Oh, oh it could DP cost the not whole holding round. that. Here Absolutely go. not. Chrome has a mount in the climb. Still getting hit by that fireball. Putting stun state's bad. No nope, more stun state. Resetting it. Another oh. stun state. Oh, the 6P whiff. whiffs. Strike throw. Banana. Good block. Nice. And now Chrome oh, has to do the so J2K so to fast. get out of there with a hair of hell. Wait up. Great patience. Keep each other full screen. Knowing, knowing what each character can do full screen. I'm still I just believe over the sweep taking him over the mini foul. The mini foul that yeah, that was almost really bad. Nice Into reset. The reset. Oh, take, gonna, take the wall break. It's gonna be big damage. Get some meter. 6H trying to see if you had any resources. None. Huge, 6H, that's fine. Huge health lead for PPU. And now the good coverage of 6P. Block. No mixing coming. Nice 5P, fast one. I want both those items. Uh-oh. That has to change up the route oh. and does it with perfection. Goes JT. right over the trumpet. Anchor, jump, anchor. More back dashes. You see a lot of meter used for uh, defensive in this game. You don't see a whole lot of red RC like recent. Oh, very often. wow. And the 2H to go underneath goes right into the wild assault. Feeling, feeling good. himself. Feeling great. Yep. Feeling great. He's Let's locked in. Home. Feeling great. Dual one. All right, let's see what the round starts looking like. Both players just decide to back off. I will say. 
Faust pressure is deceptively scary. It, no, it's I. I've always not done great against Faust pressure. I mean, they're sitting there like, oh, it's minus one, man. Just you know, it's minus one. But I gotta tell you that uh, it's pretty bad. It's, <laughs> you rarely run into a Faust player that's only a Strive player. So they're so good, and they have that legacy knowledge usually of like Exert. A lot of Faust play played Faust yep. Exert. Other games, You're gonna be able to take over, being creative with your block stuns, being able to grab before that after even gets on. He puts up the fit. Oh. They're both styling. Oh, oh no! Whiffs. Whiffs the combo. I think maybe he thought the afro was still on. Maybe, maybe that would have hit. Maybe, I yeah, know. I think it was just a missed input though. Maybe that like, so easy to do, which is gonna cost him around. Yeah, actually, he's gonna take yeah. that now. Pew isn't out of this just yet, even though Chrome is on his last game to qualify. Pew has the momentum going into this, extending it with the Fujars. In the corner, keep that shock state. Shock state gone. Just gonna run up the grab. Yeah, we don't need anything funny. He saw that last time. He was ready for that tech. Fondu are onto it. Nice and first block. The... Season three block, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like Saddle has only minus two. Yeah. If you know anything about Fast nice Flyers, they do not dash. mind being minus. Wow, he just goes for the. What is my boy doing? We're just getting creative. Yo, Chrome, he's just, he's get, just hanging get out. Get weird with it. <laughs> yep. Walking that full screen. screen. No, you have to. It. Absolutely. Shock stun applied. I haven't seen a oh, flip kick in neutral, the but. J2K. It's hard to flip kick in neutral against Faust. Oh. 5K, so many six different anti airs. You just get to choose from six different anti airs to play Faust. <laughs> Half your buttons, just beat whatever's in there. Exactly. He just gets, uh, he just kind of gets to hang out and yeah. here, plays normal game, and then if you happen to be in the air, that's on you, brother. I don't know what to tell you. Kevin haven't got hit by that uh, overhead yet, really, in neutral, which, yep. I mean, it's, oh, it no. seems easy not to get hit by that, but you see that full screen move, you just want to dash block it and you get hit by it sometimes. Nice 6 p pushing to the, the corner, Shock able to pick it up. Shock state was on there, so it's going to be a way bigger combo than normal. So you've got a lot of meter, and see what's going to happen again. Oh, he has Woo! plenty of time to punish. He oh, doesn't yeah. get the close slash, though, and burns PPU's meter in the process. PPU wants this game really bad. Can't rush it, though. Oh, if you rush it, man. stuff like this happens. Now, Back to the Chrome corner. has to play around Scary. the DP. Doesn't even consider tick that throw. option. Yep. Tick throw with yep. his low four. Another tick throw. If there's another one, are we going to get a third command grab, or are we going to see? Oh, he won not again. a good one. No third one. But he blocked oh, it. Oh, he blocked it. Here we go. We but got meter. 2D. 2K reset. Super PRC. The jump. Because he has the back no, And nice. Chrome is going to win that three to zero. All I need is a high low. You got to guess anyway. And then you got the Milias who pull out all different types of gimmicks. Yeah, like the, the, the K2 type Milias yeah. that are just like, I'm left, right, then you got grabbed. Yeah, yeah. but it's like, oh, you got grabbed. Oh, let me go over here and turbo fall to the other side. We got to see what type of Milia K2 is. And it looks like we're going to get a chance. Ooh, nice six piece. We see That's a reset immediately. You yeah, you, you can, you can OS that. Breaker J said, Tona, he's not unfamiliar with this matchup at all. No, absolutely not. Oh, he's gonna be dead. That's death, yeah, he's absolutely. Sometimes yeah. I forget that Millie is made out of a piece of paper. She absolutely forget is. And if you're May, you gotta play this matchup. You gotta make sure Millie's not having too much fun up there. Yep. You're, you're JH, it's gotta be like, all right, calm down a bit. Oh, no. Easy cross up. Season one, still good. Yep. Uh oh. Still good. Not gonna be able to convert break. that. The, the bad move yep. is way I, too high. Ooh, high, high JH gonna hit. To hit both sides. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh. gonna push from the corner. Early burst. Don't want to hold all that damage you, in the corner. You can hold that stun Dilia, but here as we see here, we're gonna go through, take up through the wall. Yeah. Now I will say we do see a resource advantage here from Rymo. He might be able to pull something back. All right, Capel. Oh, instant overhead. We're gonna see the pickup. This might be no Milia sees that. Wants to. Uh oh. Still the way to hold there. it, chooses to hold it, chooses to hold it good. Sometimes just holding it's just yep. good. Even if you use the meter, it's whatever. I used it to not get hit. Nice. It looks like they were trying to FD. Might have hold, let go just right at the last second. Yes, sir. Tries to take him through, but Rymo is going to put Ooh, himself on the board here. Counter hit JK. Could have gone with the, uh, the dash gauge, but going to do the reset instead. I, uh, it's like I'm really liking Franker Jage of pressure here. Like we saw here, he was he put up a really solid fight against Brown, and now he kind of gets to show the more extensive part of his game plan. Go back overhead Go with back. another JH. 
Uh -oh. Go back. Oh, yeah. 6 PO, uh, yeah, 6 POS can do that. We're seeing Raimo go for, like I said, he's looking like a little bit more of a gimmicky Milia. Mm -hmm. Wants to try and catch you like and catch you asleep at the nice. wheel. But Franker J is having none of that and takes the first game. Doing so good at Everyone's stuffing scared. those options. And you see Franker J a lot in that corner, really not using the same things. They're empty hopping. Yep. They're doing dolphin nothing and to win and to wait. Uh, really mixing it up, making sure Millie doesn't get things started. Uh oh. All right. Speaking of, we're gonna, we're gonna get in the corner. Early burst. Millie was gonna get things started, but now Millie is in the corner. Decides to fight his way out and does so with ease with that all air right. dash. No corner gaming. Keep checking with JP. Oh. We're all gonna go to the ground. I'm not oh. gonna press on it. It's hard to interact in those tiny situations where a dolphin can just come anywhere. Fake cross up. Gonna keep it same side, keep it simple. Gonna break that, no. Nope, wants to get him with the reset. reset I, yep. I respect it. I wouldn't wanna send May all the way over there no. with no resources to cover it. Especially with 100 resources, goes we want over. that to go to waste. We want that to go to waste, yeah. Yep. And then goes low. Car May, car not only player, does he yeah. win that round, he gets to maintain his burst and then mm. actually see with a bit of an advantage here. Yeah, and May's gonna lose all 100 of that meter. No man to use this room. Yes, sir, gonna take, he's like, not gonna take three Six. once again. Okay. Gets the flex shield out of him, though. not to choose mix. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we can do that this season. We don't you have know to what? I'm, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to get mixed. You I think what? I'm good. I don't think so. All right. Go, wow, six, six feet. Push him back. Okay. Love that. Oh, we might see an air throw. We saw the Franker J air throw attempt. Mm -hmm. But Rymo is able to just get a little bit higher. That is the aerial advantage that Millie gets Rymo to trying not to rush it. Taking, yep. taking their time. Looking for the openings. Because if not, you get regular thrown by May. You got, there's like a five... Five way cross up. You yeah. can get grabbed both sides, you can get two H each side. You can, yeah, it's you don't want to get grabbed by this character. Main the secret grappler. Command grab, which you can't tech into like four way setups off of any <laughs> grab. Come on. I feel like getting grabbed by either of these characters is just never going to be a good time. No, it's never fun. Especially with uh, May actually got some Milia esque changes off the of hard knockdown. You can do heavy dolphin jump, yep, left, I'm, right, high, low. I like grab. the jumpers of the four way, it's pretty sick. Yeah, that's definitely fun to play with. Yeah. Now, right. now we're going to take him through the wall. Really wants to sit here. With Find a little bit of momentum. Want to keep that. Nice. Oh. Catching that back dash with that close lag. Oh, we got stunned it for this is This is bad. Meter. This is what That's catching. Oh, I, 5K I win. Win. It's it's all good. death. Comes in his curse, but it isn't going to affect Franker J too much. Able to go up two to zero. Trying to advance through on the loser side. By the win, baby. By the win. By the window. Let's rock. We see our first May dub on, on stage. We'll see. I, would it really be our first time May has won? Yeah, I think so, that's, right? That's crazy. That, yeah. that is true, though. Oh, wow. Good season three, Kyle. Pushing the corner. No, I mean, this no, is a good way to start it. I mean, look at it. He I'm might be a dolphin, baby. What's up, dolphin? Yeah, what's up, dolphin? Ooh, tap does. Like, you got to be weird. You yep. got to be weird with it. Is May, no, one, uh, no one's going to accept that uh, tap does. You got 50 meter. That's a full combo. Yeah, it's like very guilty of falling asleep at the wheel, you know? Just sitting there holding one, like, you know what? There's nothing this character can do. And by the time you realize it, you got about two and a half frames to react, so. Okay, okay. My favorite move in the game. Nice pressing. Good burst. Get some of the in the corner. Does not want to be out. Nice block. There you go. Oh, nice Ooh. JK catch. Gonna take that. And three to zero. A little hot around the stage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yep. I will say though, I always love the yellow. Yellow is always a good yellow, time. Yellow is great, yeah. We see the, the biking coming out from Chrome this time. Uh, showing that I can just switch between characters whenever I want. It's crazy. I think that this will mean that he has put up at least really good fights on two different characters on stream. Absolutely. There we go, hit him with the Yo Johnson. Go low. Overhead, yep. Really Life good master from land. Ooh. Perry. Now, I will say the Perry is something that we haven't seen too often. No. Just like that JH is going to get the confirm. Rub combos. He's got those, baby. JD, kind of hard to do a super from there. I don't know if they're going to hit. It's a good choice, yep. especially if you have stun dipper. <laughs> Just kill him. <laughs> yep. like, especially. 3K is always going to be out here. Give yeah. it a little more. Liberated approach. You see the 5P interrupting. Oh, a lot. God. Oh. That's, oh. You see. Hard, oh, no hard knockdown. Guns doesn't matter when your doesn't combo matter. is six hits into 60%. Yeah. 
We see a three touch, maybe? We might see it, but we can also see the Chrome oh, comeback. We can, yeah, we can see him three touch. He <laughs> He's a bet. Yeah, but it's like with two of those three touches being Yoshi Yozatsu. Just let May run. It's so scary to press a button. Oh. I think they were going for the BRC Dolphin cancel. But sometimes if they're crouching, you do it too fast, you just fly right over them. <laughs> Sorry. Another. You don't need a creative. You go close slash 2H up Dolphin. They're going to come right back and do it again. Oh, man. And now we're sitting here. Land is sitting here. Driver's seat, baby. Look at Looking this. at us. Hey, what's up? Yep. How what's you doing? up, Land? Hey, how you doing? You feeling good? Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I know you're watching May win. You're like, look. We, we didn't go for a uh, character switch. Feeling confident <laughs> in the, oh, baiting that parry. Got parried twice last round, or was it once? Still, got parried, looking for it now. It exists in their head. Sir. A lot of a move you don't Ooh, see get talked about too often is May 5P. That move is unbelievable. That move is so good. I feel like May's P buttons in general are just really good. You know, some of the faster frame data in the game. And, you know, you get some decent reward off that counter. All Ooh, right, Stun Dipper. Yep, 3K. Ooh, take a flash route. The other flash side. route. Shout out Slash. I don't know if you go watch this back, but you'll love that guy. Yo, hey, if you're here, go for real. Sir. Pretty late out there in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Oh, good catch. Ooh, Ooh cross up. Is it enough? It's not enough. Not quite. Against the knockdown Guts. though, and if you know knockdown against Bike, it's really good. Guns but are gonna play a pretty big factor. One up grab. 2H, oh. good jab out, noticing the 3K is negative. You know, that move's negative, but you know how many times I've just let someone get away with it? It's a bit scared. <laughs> like, I was just scared. I'm like, I'm like they, they could do something next. Like, I don't, I never know. Good season three. Gonna choose to reset. Good choice. Gonna get your meter. Gonna have a 50 meter on wake up. Classic fight can jump in. 50 meter, good block on that overhead. Recognizing oh. that's 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 just knowledge. Knowing that that uh, BRC means an overhead possibly. Yep, it's like it did mean an overhead, but it didn't mean a punish from Land. You know, just Chrome not. just kind of fell asleep at the wheel there, wasn't able to contest with whatever Land wanted to do. And now Land is one hit away from trying to keep it this round time even here. And just uh, gets no the FD. flip with the dolphin, yep. No, you saw the FD before, on FD to on accident, right out there. Yep, and now the rounds are gonna be tied up at one apiece. 5K, that's so good. Good cross up. Getting that hard knockdown, safe jump city. Overhead. Getting Ooh, it started. Catch the back dash. And good burst from land. Using that burst, yeah. That's gonna be the last burst probably of this set. I like that burst because you know you know that he's not gonna get any more for the rest of the set. No, yeah. You gotta find one spot to use it, and that That's is the optimal spot. Find yeah, find that momentum. Hopefully. Oh, oh, fun. oh no, it catches. Oh the, the cross up! This is gonna kill. That's gonna kill. Of course it is. <laughs> it's me. Crow, I, I wish we could get Ooh, the player cam on Chrome. How's man. it going, man? Because he, every time. Hey, what's up? How's it I going? wish we get the player cam on Chrome because he was just in disbelief at that. Yeah. I, I'm crying. That was too funny. It's uh that happens sometimes if the counter hits a little stale yep. and you do 2H. But Dolphin lands right on the other side and it catches people off guard. So it's like, oh, I went to combo, but what's up? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> back dashing out, not going to hold it. Which we did stay again on that bike end. Yeah, I think that uh, confidence. See, I mean, doing great. Yeah. Oh, it's like honestly, kill. Chrome, like you said, all the puzzle pieces are in his hand. He needs to put it together in the full picture, and he'll be cooking. Which sometimes it takes a game or two. 100. There's so many reverse 30s in this game. It's never, you never feel comfortable. Oh, never. That's good save safe. jump though. Yeah. No FTs. I, you see, I like that from Chrome. I feel like a lot of people are way too happy with just hitting the PRC and not getting that damage, but able to recognize that, you know what, I'm gonna let it rock, he might not have hit, and I might be able to, you know, save my sanity. Sometimes you gotta take big risks, especially if you're down this minigames. Esports button not catching. Not esports enough. This is grassroots, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not choosing to confirm up that uh, post slash. Hard to. Get Block that first, first though. That's gonna be big. That's the Norcal Classic game. Gun, what's the silky? Safe jump, grab. Oh, he's gonna kill. Ah, With the OTG 2H and Chrome believe it in puts your himself on the board. You gotta believe in that momentum shift. Always have. Now, Chrome is sitting here. Loser side. He has to two straight to win it here. I got it. Which could be 
Who knows, two minutes? Yeah, but that could, you know, that could be two minutes. We could Good see land. overhead. It looks like uh, Chrome's going to get into a little bit of a feel. Yeah. Game one versus now looks a lot different with how confident you are in your buttons and approaching that. Yeah, sometimes, especially if you're switching back and forth, sometimes you just got to let your character cook a little bit. A like, little bit, yeah. You got the two Free zones. the oven of, tiny bit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oven's on 350 right now. We had to go back and, you know, maybe play out those two games, give it some time to get ready. But what's Ooh, cooking? Nice land. confirm. Land's gonna get Season the crazy three confirm. confirms. Spend all that both that first. Yeah, yeah, both of them get them there. I like it. I think I like the Good decision. Good back though. dash. This is gonna be big. This could turn the times for a bit. Good, Good overhead block. block. Ooh, going for that uh, bait. Gonna wire C out. Instant Good block overhead block again. Into a uh, punish. Now land is hitting here on set point in loser tie top 32. I gotta say, this is a pretty bad spot here for Crow. He has uh, no burst no now. Burst, yeah, no burst now. But he does have JS. Yep. He, he always <laughs> has JS. Oh, but man, 6P. 6P. A lot of 6Ps from land coming out. Not letting that air, uh, the, the air catching get started at all. I mean, when you think Speaking about, of air catching. Yep. Same confirm we see. Gotta think about the options that uh, that Viking has, right? She has the far slash, has the JS. What, is the, what do both those get neutralized by? The 6P. One button. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> one, one button for two options. I take that 100% of the time. And everyone has it, so no excuses. Right. Oh, Not able to catch that. In there. Should be the set. Oh, <laughs> floor ten and celestials. Not that. <laughs> there need, we need. We need like floor eleven yeah, or something. Yeah, floor, floor eleven would be pretty fire. Yeah, I mean, the super new and Get those guys up there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to. I'm just trying to get a little bit better. But we are going to see you know, very patient early burst again, player. which you see a lot of early bursts on this stage. It's People are not afraid to do it since you get it back so fast this time. Yep, burst philosophy is completely different compared to the last uh, last iterations. And, uh, we are going to get the up dolphin. Pest up dolphin. You don't get much off of it, but you still hit him in the head. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I hear a little bong sound effect going through. And now uh, Yuki Shitsu is going to try to take the him to the wall. Hit the overhead. Gets the reset overhead. Which, by the way, that overhead does not hit over their head. Yeah, it just kind of... <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> he's hitting me in the shoulder and it's called it an overhead. Like, what are we talking about right now? That's some uni stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got hit in the, ch the chest. That's yeah. low. Like, yeah, awesome. Yeah, 3 c hitting you in the shin. Yeah. You're like, oh, oh well. <laughs> My bad. But it's okay. We have got... First, choosing at the end of it. This game is incredibly close now. Look. One more chance not to get out. Those. I am not holding those records. I'm jumping. I'm that, defense, up. <laughs> that defensive sequence from Franker J just showed that he knows what he is doing. Yeah. He just, it's like, he's like, look, I just got to jump up. And after that FD, I know that this overhead isn't going to hit me after the fact. Good oh, fuzzy jump from Franker J. But barely gets clipped there by Yukashitsu. Gun time. Yeah. If you want the bridge. JH. Oh, that hits way too deep, my friend. And Ooh. hits the 3K and goes right over 3K. the gun. That should be, yeah, kill. Don't even need meter, don't need nothing. Franker J is going to come out and hit him with two rounds straight to take first blood in this set. Fast. Very, very fast. Yeah. Even though it seemed close, it was just still that fast. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy stuff here from both these players. Oh, going like, back to the character select screen. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe the. Maybe, maybe a breather, maybe working. different. Yeah, different character. Who knows? Yeah. At the very least, has to sit here and, you know, maybe get that mentality change. Maybe even wants the same color, but at the very, very, very least, let's see. Ooh. We're sitting here waiting. Are they going to pick it? They're you thinking. Want, we're breathing. We're thinking. We got three got a got three characters to choose from here. Okay. So we're going to lock in the Ram. Chooses their color and locks in. It's looking like we're going to see May versus Ram to keep this set going. That's that's a that's a classic. That's a season one classic you saw. Yes, sir. A lot of the time, you you don't see too many Mays after season one for a bit. They kind of disappeared a little bit, but uh, still strong character. Always been strong. I don't think tier lists suck. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the, every character is so strong in this game, and May's Ooh, always wow. been so strong. Same with Ram. Ram has never fell off like being great. Yeah. So. Now, why do we think that we? Why do we think that he went Ram here? Do you have any ideas? Uh, maybe you need to switch it up. Still stay at your range that you like. Yep. But a little better, more, more, more sword base. You know, I want to throw things around rather than the 
the gun. It didn't seem like the gun was doing too much in neutral form. So yeah, exactly. He was able to get through the 3K, like had plenty of options to just neutralize that gun. Also, what I'm thinking for Mikashitsu is that you're six for 10 seconds too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what it wants. Is like is that you want to make a block forever? You want to make sure that, that makes it tight, and you want access to a much better Ooh. 6P. A lot of grabs so far too. Bram has so many options to be scared of. Nice. Cable loop, back throw incident, counter hit JP. Gonna get that confirmed into the hard knockdown, which you don't want to be against me. Yes, Take him through. Safe jump. There we go. Good IVFD, pushing him away. Choosing right, I'm, not I'm gonna to see mix. It. We wanted perhaps a strike throw, but now Franker J is gonna get his shot. Push into the corner, can't press. Doesn't oh. matter. Oh! All Reset. Right. Yeah. This is honestly the character pick is looking looking great. Primed and ready to go. It looking hot. It's looking like, you know, they've been playing Ram all day. Yep, here we go. Take him through the wall. Go Maybe for the reset because they know it's not going to kill. Wanted to make Slowest wreck of all time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is scary spot for both players now. Franker J does have the round advantage, so if he's able to take this, just decides to burn it. I agree. Are we going to see an air throw? No air throw from Mikashitsu. Both these players are sitting here at the orange mid range. Yep, it's like the orange on orange violence going on right now. We see. Ooh, nice good cross up with the from counter Ikushitsu, hit. And that is going to tie up the games at one a pop. Proving that ram pick was what was needed. I'm liking so, the pick. Yeah, making The so pick so far is like, I don't know. like They, they were seeing that uh, jumping out of the Rekkas, jumping out of stuff, backdashing stuff. You're not backdashing right now. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> you're not. You're not. It's like backdashing Nago. It's like, let's not kid that. ourselves here, man. Now we're gonna see. Nice. Get the we saw that grab. earlier. Exact same setup as earlier. Take a through. Just need one. That's all you need. Take. I don't even feel like you lost neutral that many times. You got Ram almost dead over here. Definitely didn't. Reset. Wire seat block. Ooh. Good block. Good block. From Only get K two D punished because that's Ram. Ikushitsu is you know sitting out a pretty sizable life deficit that could get cut just like that with the five H. Alexa burst. back in the corner with JPs. Gonna dash out, gonna see that grab. Can't do anything after you decide to grab, or dash from there. You get BRC there, you're just gonna get grabbed. Yep, now we have to see the answer here from Ikishitsu. We saw it dominating game number three, but now we are here in game number three. Jumping over the rock, not interested. Gonna 6P, it's okay if you jump over the rock. Yeah, no, we got it. Go. Little frame kill there with the Rekka. A little shimmying, gonna wait, see what each other does. Respect, nice. Oh, he's gonna be dead. Good grab, nice. Yeah. First come back right at the wrong time, but we're gonna get it for the next round. Honestly, I like that the burst came back then because there's no, there's not even the temptation. Not even say, yeah. To try and burst that there. Gets the grab and now. Grab back, you see a lot of ram grabs. Yukushitsu is scary, scary character. Yukushitsu, oh, going back full screen. Doesn't matter, I'm ram. I feel comfortable over here. Good just walks. Good dolphin out. Try to go for the command grab. We're gonna burst out. All right. Good. Wow. Anti air far Anything slash. You know what? We'll take it. Everything's an anti air. We're gonna get the take a laser oh, beam. Big damage, but not quite enough. Gonna be one more interaction necessary. We well, got meter. <gasps> what a match! <laughs> Two P in the meter. J. Drops that corner combo once again. A little bit of nerves. Uh oh. Didn't get the. Oh no, this is a really bad spot here for Ikashitsu. Oh. This could be can bad. Saw it again. The, it, that's it. No! Whiffs the dolphin! Oh, it five P catches. We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're oh, good. Frank or Jay needs to take a little breather there. That was a crazy sequence. We saw the drop from Ikashitsu. We saw the drop from Frank or Jay. Both these players. Take it aside. Well, they're sighing. They're, they're pretty they're nervous. Tense. Yeah, you saw it. We saw the, the, the camera pain. They both went. Oh. oh my gosh. And now Frank or Jay is sitting here. Pulling out what I would perceive as an upset. Like, I think that a lot of people had Ikishitsu slated to come back and run back his Genesis top eight. But now, it's like, we have, it's like, yeah. the Strive uh, bracket this year is just so much bigger, too. Yeah, like, exactly. It's like, it's like there's just so much more talent. So many more players are coming out and trying to make their mark. It's, Ooh, it's a nice cross up. BRC to call him out, though. Simple when you're going to press. Made dolphin setups. Find the right jump and you're out though. The Totsi is getting for Ooh. real. And the burst is getting baited for call real. Out the snitch. Ikushitsu. Oh, no Tables. kill though. Not dead. Still Japanese. Huge. And now remember, you can do anything with 3K? Yup. I want a 3K there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. 
Oh my gosh. This is such a scary spot. One touch for both players. Calls out the 6P, but there's going to be no punish. Maybe you want some windshield wipers. Oh, and the 6P is going to come out. Even, even this nerf. Remember it before? <laughs> yeah, I remember it before. Man, I, still good, though. It's like, man, I, I remember it. I, I, wish it <laughs> I was like, I wish I went a little bit harder, but you know what? I can't complain. All right, keep him in the corner. Has to block. No more swords left. Gonna get both swords. What a match. Still Jeff. Oh, oh, no. Ooh, look at that damn break. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. You could hit him so many more times, too, if you wanted. Yeah, exactly. All right. Keep blocking. Good oh, throw tech. What awesome defense. throw tech. Ooh, Ooh faking the here. throw. Faking the throw instead doing the close slash. Catching the throw tech. Uh-oh, the rock. Rock time. You gotta Ooh. have an answer. Ooh. You gotta have an answer or we're gonna Ooh, keep doing roll. it. Yep. Two to two, Ikushizu is in a spot that, I mean, just by the look on their face, hmm, I don't know. I don't think they want to be here right now. No, absolutely. Uh, Frank or Jay is going to take a breather, I think. Yep. No. Nope, we're going run right it, back run into it. Back. Run, run it the back. game five keep immediately. He's just been able to find openings. See, there's that same jab set up. Oh, the back dash, no. that would have been a combo. That yeah, would have been. You had to burst that. We would have been looking at, at, at set point, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, but gets a juicy starter of their own. Ikushi Classic. too. Oh, was this a cross the other up? Side? What the world was that set up? Is, uh, oh my gosh. What type of yearly garbage was that, bro? That's, yeah, no, yeah. That's, I didn't even know there was a gap there. What? That was crazy. Out, looking to find something. Gonna hold the reckless. Not gonna hold the reckless, actually. Oh, what a pickup with as the, much as the 5P. Oh, I think that they wanted so to get the meter. record. Oh, tap dust! Tap dust! Ikashitsu's put up all the yeah. stops right now. now. Now we're playing Guilty Gear. Took, took a little bit to get warmed up. We're down here. It took, it's, you said to qualify. That's all it took. Yep. Oh, Frank or Jay, though. You can't count him out yet. He has done this time and time again. This is just another Saturday for Frank or Jay. He wants to come in here and prove that nice he is worthy of that top eight medal with that 6P. Bring him back over. Oh, no. Look at that J, uh, JK counter hit we've seen so many times. Oh, my gosh. Life advantage slowly getting whittled down. Chest block does not matter. Second hit hits. Oh, wanted that mix, but Ooh, no mix. Able to block the does. Nice. Oh, no sword. There's a sword there, though. Blocks him, but wasn't able to get the confirm. Now, nah, no resources. Oh, Gets thrown into the throw corner. In. Oh, shoot, command grab. That was a really good throw. Oh, this no is going to be safe. It safe. just gets nice. the throw. Just, just throw, just throw. We are going to That's last right. game, last round to qualify for top eight. Strapping, this is going to be crazy. All right, let's get it going. Here we go. I can only sit good here punish. and watch in silence. I'm trying. I'm crouched over. I know. I, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here with the same Plus posture rings. as if I were playing for this top eight myself. It's better. <laughs> I don't got to be nervous. I, I can just have a great time. I just get to get hype. Oh, oh has had to, to burst that. Yeah, had to burst. That would have been insane. Six are coming out on both sides. Matter. Both back to neutral. <gasps> that oh, my gosh. Jump oh, over. Oh, the close This is looking huge. No now, kill yet, no kill yet. One no more meter. touch for Frank or Jay to you take it. You do that first. Yeah. Oh, get gold the gold burst. burst. That's bad. The shimmies. Oh, nice really YRC. Nice. And nice. gets the throw. Frank or Jay is going to see you in the loser side of top eight. Nothing will happen. In my mind, that's just this guy's stun dipper. You know, you got 50 <laughs> meter. You want to get in, <laughs> let her in. Yeah, no. Let's see if this is a button Dual check. One. Let's rock. Uh, does not look like a button check. Looks like we're already getting straight into it, and beneath with those IVs already doing so much work. Yeah, this is the record crash I was talking about. You just gotta hold it as fast. But once he gets full screen and sets up with all the items, I think that's gonna lead more his way Yeah, no, 100%. Very good deflect shield coming out from beneath here, but Pugs just running this relentless offense is getting so much pressure. And look at that, he's full screen out. He has many Faust out, and he's getting rewarded for his good defense there, because when he was in the corner, he got that instant idea to get pressure off, and immediately it became his turn. But you can win with just as good defense as you are with offense here, and it's really showing. I want to point out real quick, Beneath just walked, I beat the banana that was in the way of his pressure, but right now we're going to be seeing another 50-50. Walks the low, hugs some very good defense,
Jace. He's going to be living on one HP here. And the grenade catches the Jace UK. It's going to be a wall break here, but it's still an uphill battle for Pugs. Yeah, no, Pugs is still definitely on an uphill battle. The JD coming out is not going to be enough. He needs first to try to salvage the round. One HP for Pugs, but the 6P will be coming out to stop that special. That's definitely in. all reliable for Apology Man there, doing the PRC teleport into the low, into the command grab. We'll see that a lot if he has 50 meter. Yeah, very good use of the projectile there, making sure the scalpel can't go out. And I mean, we're seeing Pugs with very good matchup knowledge, and Beneath, you know, usually in his element, is still having to fight back and forth for this round. Oh, 6P to find the gap in the pressure there, and he's going in now. He has 50 meter. The world is his oyster. Oh, but he gets a 6P on the jump in there. Corner pressure, PRC, super PRC is going to come out. Force Elfelt into the corner. That's going to be a bomb coming out. Burst bait come, attempt from beneath into gold burst. What a, what a special to come out. Pugs is absolutely dominating right now. Deflect shield is so good in getting out that pressure. I think Pugs, yeah, 50 meter. I think that's three times in this round, the past round, where 50 meters just means she does that stun dipper, gets in his face, and takes her turn. Yeah, no, and I mean, right here, we see usually Beneath having such a dominant performance, but right now, just going back and forth. Yeah, and you know what? The, the past two rounds, I'm a believer in if you're Faust and Elfelt's just throwing those records in your face, deflect you. Why not? Yeah, especially any character that doesn't have those quick reversals that can do anything there. Meteor does get eaten, and this is a lot of wall break damage oh into the Oh my lord, super. that is optimal. That's why you don't, you don't see a 60% combo out of Faust too often, but when you do, man. No, it's scary, but the Meteors are going to come out. Beneath is going to make something happen. Cross-up is going to happen. Elfo does have first to work with and Meter. Has to make something happen. Low into YRC is going to come out. The grab from uh, It's Me Pugs coming out would not be what you want to see in that situation. Yeah, one thing I want to see Pugs switch up is he can't throw out those neutral skips, not against Apology Man, you know, these top players, their neutral is so good, if you do a full screen um, stun dipper like that, he's gonna clip you with the 6P, he's gonna clip you with the 2P, and he's done that over and over again in that first game. Another thing is, if you watch how Pugs is playing with the Rekka, getting very, very greedy with the resets, as you can see, well, not right here, but if Beneath starts blocking these, you see Pugs getting greedy with the resets, and stuff ends up not going their way. You know what they say, man, scared money don't make money, so sometimes you gotta risk a little bit. That is true, that is true. YRC from Pugs here, just forcing Beneath out into a more comfortable range for Pugs to play with a gun. Again, that big 6P in the Meteors, this is everything he needs here. Welcome to Oyster World, because he has a 100 meter and he can shoot whatever he wants right now. <laughs> That's the wall break coming out, and I believe that will be the round going the way of Apology Man already. Looks like Apology Man has managed to find his stride. I would say he's warmed up. Yeah, he I just warmed, warmed up. Maybe just got in the venue, you know, had had to do some stuff, but now getting those reads in, playing just outside of that far slash range. Those bomb bags are very scary if you're not used to them, and Mini Faust got eaten if you didn't see what was was. There you go, gets that overhead record that goes into the throw. I agree with that. And 50 meters to really just hammer in the pressure here and trades that oh. resource in the deflect shield. The crawl is so smart there to go under that far slash. It won't be enough as right here we are going to be seeing the pressure come out. Cross up. Very good block from Beneath here. Rekka trying to catch Beneath on a back dash. And he's out the anything. corner. He has full screen and a mini Faust to work with now. That mini Faust is going to be going straight off the screen. I Some still think Faust can take this. This is just win, win interaction away. I don't think he gets wall break here. The Bombos. Well, oh, meter's pretty even. I think this can go either way. PRC's in, gets that jab. YRC, what can he do with this deflect shield again? I mean, this is so smart from beneath, but grab what a teleport! Grab! Oh, Pugs is on a different level. That's gonna Ooh. be Pugs spacing that 5P so well and taking it to round three. I had counted Pugs out, but she, or he's right back in it. Punishing the 6P whip says you can't match that. Holy, right here, Beneath is in such a precarious situation that it will be a cross of hitting Beneath with the crawl again, doing so much work. Yeah, that work. far slash just hitting over the crawl, that, that's just kind of unfortunate there, but really good mix-up. 
Oh, the 2H not gonna combo. We see 6P coming out from Pugs. And I mean, Venise is getting this corner combo, but it's not gonna do anything. You need something else to happen. And I, I can say for certain, yep, looking for that Stun Dipper RC right there. I should really get the name of that move, but it functions so similarly. No, it does. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. By the way, Pugs is playing in a fursuit hat. Like, that's, like, they're playing this well, and they can't see, like, below, like, their eyeline. I've uh, never tried one of those on, so I, I can't tell, but may maybe they're more comfortable in it, maybe they play better in it, but um, let's see, I think going from game one to game two, Puzz is picking up the matchup, so I think it's just going to get better from here. Oh, 100%. You say it's getting better, though. Beneath just immediately getting that burst out of Pugs. Yeah, that yeah, I think that's the range there where you're not as punishable, right? Yeah, you're probably plus three there. That Mineberry doing so much to stop things. Very good, not crossing up there to get Pugs, to get hit by it. Hammer is going to mean you are going to get a combo here, not going to be a super wall break. Yeah, um, this round is going to be an uphill climb here. YRC to get her off of the pressure. Um, I think one thing I want to see from Pugs more is, I think Pugs is kind of rushing in, trying to get into Faust's like, uh, pressure range a little bit too much. If you just want to hang back, Use your projectiles, use the air rifle, use the ground rifle, just poke and wait till you get 50 meter. Because I think Elfelt really needs that 50 meter to be that oppressive Rekka character. Yeah, no, you need that 50 meter. Good reset there coming out from Pugs. Beneath, missing that 6P as that hurt hitbox for it is not very good. We're going to see the super wall break already coming out. Pugs does, is able to get a lot off of this on knockdown here. And that's exactly what they need here. Look at that positive bonus pressure there. You have meter for days. Yeah, you get the second wall break, you get even more There positive. you go, let's go, Pugs. Pugs is bringing it back, and it looks like we'll see Apology Man need to fight his way back. He does have that slight advantage at first, but Pugs has been so dominant as of recent. And Faust going in, using that wild assault to keep him in the corner, keep that pressure. He's gonna need some better items here. Jumps the command grab, and it's back to neutral. Yeah, right here. That 100 ton weight is gonna stop the pressure a little bit. Very good catch in the back dash with that far slash, but that trumpet is gonna land right on Vanid. Straight into the corner. Burst coming out from Pugs. Pugs has one shot to make it happen. 100 HP versus zero. You do get the bomb back, no counter hit. You have to make something happen here, and you're plus here, but... What are you gonna do? And if I was Apology Man, I will just be mashing the jab there. Faust is such a good jab, you just need one more straight hit to end this round. There you go, the 2P, GG's. Yep. Doesn't matter if you're Jonathan or you're the next random guy, you're guessing the same way. No, 100%. The one thing that's different about Jonathan, though, is he's been in that situation thousands of times before. So he should be able to block it, but we'll see what Alexander can get started here at the beginning of this round. And immediately JH forward to get pressure. Uh, that JH. It's a heavy button, but there's actually zero frames for recovery on it. Yes, there are. It actually recovers before the move is over. It is one of the silliest moves of all time. I don't know who decided, but what an amazing a good air, air there. throw coming out from Alexander already. And here's that melee pressure we're talking about. Jonathan does not have resources. He's gonna have 50 right here. Ooh, very good of that compel to make sure that you hit the cross this up is there. Huge. He's at 49. He can't even wire see his pressure. Oh my. The, oh! the mashing 5k to catch him at the air. Oh my god, this guy's crazy with it. Jonathan getting the wall break already. That will be the super coming out. Jonathan generally prioritizing first. And I wouldn't count Alexander out this yet. He's winning the resource war for sure. YRC yeah. to take his pressure here. YRC coming out. This will be the BRC 50-50. Not getting the RC is very important there. As and that's a full burst too. Because if you're bursting at low health, you're saying, I want to win this round. I think I can beat you here. Oh. He goes for the burst bait. Jonathan burst. Both these players want this round desperately, and the back dash is going to get Alexander caught. Alexander on the board. Alexander already on the board. Jonathan is forced to make something happen here. That throw of the Mirage. We're in for a set. And this is the nightmare snare against Saul here. Oh, he actually fights his way out. That's really good. Gets the disc, Oki, and 2K, 2D. Oh, he backs off. Wonder. Could have been a misinput. Sometimes there's some weird misinputs that you get, but this right here is a really cool combo. You're gonna be getting a corner break into death. And that's gonna kill. Yeah, no, actually now that I think about it, I think off a hard knockdown, Soul has a setup where if he uh, jumps backwards and then air dashes forward, it times his safe jump really well. But I think in the back jump he was doing, a dash came out too, so then he use, uses his air dash there. Yes, yeah, no, that is what the setup is. Very, very good block, grabbing out that wild assault 
Soul. We are seeing Soul make things happen. And, and this, this is, is that big damage. Where you get the Kara into the charge dust. Another Volcanic Viper coming out, dealing so much damage to Millia Rage here. And he's backing off, waiting for that 50. DPRC, everyone's favorite. Game one goes to Jonathan. Uh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. I will say, this matchup for Milia, it's it's a odd matchup for Soul, but once you learn the matchup, which is just JH, really. If you watch, round start, jump forward JH. Oh, well, I lied. But JH is just such a good button in this matchup. It's very difficult for Milia to get things going. Yeah, and the, the really tricky thing about that is you kind of see, just like any character, you see a button whiff, your instinct is to punish that whiff. But immediately, like right there, the JH whip, immediately he gets a JK coming yeah. out. So you kind of have to program your pressure not to react to that JH as a punish. Yeah, right there though, very good 6P, gonna be catching out that JH. Sometimes it hits deep enough to get the 6P, but not quite. Offense starting very good IB from Jonathan to get out of the corner here. DPRC getting the pressure started. Oh, oh no punish no on the punish! punish. Milia is stuck in the corner here. No punish on that GD or that 2D. But right here, we see Jonathan just running the scary pressure. It looks like Alexander doesn't know that against the Phantom Revolver, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to FD against it. And he gets the 2K 2D knockdown. You're gonna have to start guessing. Very good oh, guesses. This guy needs one more touch to kill here. He's gonna go for the wall break. Oh, I think this will kill. Nice. Very good kill coming out from Alexander here. Jonathan still has burst though, and has like a lot of resources to work with. It's also just Soul. You gotta be really aware when you're playing against Soul. You have to be incredibly aware of the fact that Soul can just do things like this. And this is the nightmare scenario against Soul. He has you in the corner. You don't have the resources to fight back. He's just hammering out those far slashes, those close slashes. Plus two, plus two, plus two, hold this. Yeah, no, you have to hold all that. You backdash, you do one incorrect thing on defense, and that is your entire health bar gone. Jonathan with that far slash punish. Incredibly good punish, but not quite going to be getting the 2D to hit. And oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure every time he's throwing out those two S's in neutral um, for Sol, he's buffering Bandit Revolver each and every time. Because yes. if he clips you, he wants to make sure he goes in. And if it whips, then hey, you're still safe. No, it's definitely still safe. Jonathan's combo right there was also a burst save combo, which is very scary to deal with. Not going to be getting those JHs off. And right here, we see Milia being able to combo Jonathan, dropping the combo for Alexander. This is an incredibly dangerous situation. That's oh, going to be the first the North Baited. Hell burst phase. And you're going to see Jonathan with one of the new combos that's been coming out for Soul, 6H to is finish the range it off. On that 6H, my, my. It's broken. By the way, combo, Dude, very good awareness from Jonathan Tenne. That combo does not work on about six or seven characters. And Milia would be one of the ones you might think it doesn't work on, but it actually does. The All right, let's see if he can turn this around here. Oh no, oh no. Oh, not quite getting that JD, not getting the wall break, but it looks like Jonathan There's the punish. finally gets punished for doing the Bandit Revolver on offense. And he's just fighting his way out with that far slash there. Oh no, oh no. This is tragic. You get put right back in the same corner you're in. Very good to grab, calling out Jonathan for the mix, but you can't let Jonathan get away with this. Oh, the whiff on that meaty there. And those 2K 2Ds from Milia, that's honestly the true mix-up where Milia can really hit you those 50-50s. When you see the disc, the heavy disc off a throw from Milia, there's actually um, an OS that covers that really well. And after a throw, he hasn't been able to open up Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, right here, Jonathan does not get comboed by Alexander, and Jonathan will finally get taken down for one game. But he's been in this situation every single match. Yeah, but you know, Alexander's not done yet. They're up around. 2K 2D, that's all Milia needs to get things going. No, Milia needs something. Needs a miracle to get things oh, going. He's doing that Mario Kart double dash pressure there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trying to get something to happen. And Jonathan 6H not going to hit it. This is going to be a wall break. This is going to be not hard oh, knockdown. Going for the H this mix up. Oh, but you can't let. You can't use the fake stuff on Jonathan. He labs all of it. Yeah, so that scenario there um, with those delayed discs off throw or that, what you can do that covers so many options for Milia is you go for the IBFD on wake up and then you fuzzy jump. Oh, no. That beats this almost could be tragic. This could be tragic. Jonathan getting something to happen. Six. D or 5D going to make something happen. JD for Milia, not going to be enough. Both sides, one HP, one hit left. That's going to be the BR. Both sides are scrambling for something to happen. Jonathan with FD just trying to make sure he stays alive. 
Gunflames coming out. Specials coming out to just try to chip out the other player. Full slams at first, and Jonathan is going to get hit by that hair car on the ground. Alexander manages to take a game. It's it's wild how such a rushdown matchup in the final few seconds turns into honest neutral and footsies. <laughs> <laughs> honest ground based neutral footsies. You don't see that in gear until. You get... I'm just using the word honest until I see Jonathan throughout his meterless vortex. All right. Well, I'm I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it as well. Good dash block from Jonathan. Not quite going to be enough to get anything happening. That is an unfortunate. Oh my God! The air throw. And I'll tell you what. I I feel like all the melee guys I play. Once you air throw their capel, that's how you stop their momentum. That's how you say like, hey, I'm not scared of that air throw. I'm not scared of that capel pressure. And he has him back in the corner now. Oh no! Catches the back dash. What a well timed CS coming out from Jonathan. And right here, Jonathan's on match point already. 2KD, 2D gets blocked there. Oh, run up throw. Millie is so fast that next, like she can run up half screen, grab you, and you won't even realize until you're on the ground. Yeah, no, she's very quick, has all of the movement options, and Jonathan there gets is. the meterless vortex. <laughs> Dishonest <laughs> footsies. <laughs> We're going to see the low come out. Unfortunately, not an FRC, but right here, Jonathan gets the counter hit. Wall break. And Luckily, the Wild Assault scaling is pretty high, so he's not going to kill off of that. Um, Alexander does have the resources to fight back here, though. Yeah, Alexander has resources. That's going to be the hair car coming in for that low. Jonathan is getting put straight into the corner, has to block something. YRC into a wild throw is not going to be enough. Alexander fighting for every single match. Alexander's warmed up. He's ready to fight back. Playing well, playing well. 6P round start catches that 5K. Far slash, such a good button for Milia. Right here. He takes the burst, and honestly, that's step one to making this comeback, is take away your opponent's resources. Oh no, we won't be seeing the safe jump come out from Jonathan, just trying to get some mix in. Jonathan gets the double overhead. What do you do? What do you do? You're on one HP. You have to make something happen. Burst coming out for Alexander, trying to get the overhead. 6P into 6H. Jonathan 10A. Oh no. Oh no. This is, is, this is very unfortunate. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is this matchup is like the definition of an unfortunate matchup. I'm assuming Mankind for Testament. Yeah, Testament, I, I, I so hope Antai on can outplay because this matchup is very difficult when you're blocking those bullets on full screen. You can't start doing anything because you just get shot. But it looks like we're letting the intros rock, which is super cool. I love it. And both rocking the denim skins as well. Yes. It's a denim kind of day on stream. It is denim. I think it's, I think it's you know, it's a denim, denim Saturday. So, yeah, I think this matchup comes down to, Testament. hey, if you're happy, Chaos, don't get stained. Chaos. If you're Testament, don't get cursed. But let's see what they do here. Round I'm thinking Round Star 2S. Round Star Curse. There, there we go. go. Quitsies, baby. Here we go. Anti gets the first hit here. Ooh, Onside playing very aggressive, but this is what I mean by it's unfortunate, because uh, if you watch, this is just this is just kind of unfortunate. You can curse to dodge the Arbiter. There's just so many things that Happy Chaos has in this matchup. Like, what, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, luckily, one thing about the patch, was it a few months ago now, is yes. Happy Chaos, he can't, or he has a harder time putting in those full screen checkmate situations where you're just blocking those um, guard break um, gunshots there. Um, as an opponent to Happy Chaos, you do have to look at his resource bar just oh as much as your no. own. We get the burst out at the last minute on a burst save setup. Ontai has no burst to work with in the second round. You do not want to go into dual two without burst. No, you don't, and that's going to be the Happy Chaos pressure we all know. Not necessarily love right here. Corner pressure. What you do is testament. Nothing. And his offense is just so strong right here. Oh, he's gonna go for the um, reset. Oh no. And I think oh, gunshot no. or gun super should kill here. Gun super does kill here. It's very good against guns because of how many hits it is actually. It's a lot of low damaging hits, which means I believe against guns it has a much easier time killing opponents. And a perfect to end that game mm. one. Um, I hope Anti can bounce back from this. As always, I recommend any competitor, whether it's on stream, whether it's off stream or something, if you go down a game and you just need time to kind of reset your mental, take your time, take that 30 seconds, go to character select, you know? Yeah, just go back to character select, pick that character, run it back. 
We are seeing this first pressure being applied. Good He's out of bullets. From on site. You may be out of bullets, but you have the resources to get them back. Good curse to block, dodge the, uh, dodge the projectile coming there. <laughs> And the projectile clips off the Happy Chaos phone as well, or as we say now, the Happy Chaos NFT. Yes, the Happy Chaos NFT is going to be doing so much work in this matchup as well. It looks like Bo isn't a real, real big fan of using clone though, but this is what I mean by the matchup is unfortunate. But even once you do get the knockdown, what do you do? You dash block and you uh, wait for your turn. Yeah, you wait for your turn. Oh, a lot of whipping going on, actually. <laughs> Burst to keep, happy chaos, or keep corner, and happy chaos is just gonna be able to finish off that round with just two quick gun shots. Yeah, I, I think all you can really do is try to dash block in, really keep an eye out for those curses, because he's just throwing it out for free and neutral. You can jump over those, you can dodge those. Yes, he's not even jailing them. Normally, when you see curse come out, you can jail them. That's gonna be the throw attempt. Rat or hit by that gunshot. And right here on height in the corner, you have no meter to work with because you're FTA having counts out. Yeah, and one thing here, I've noticed for real's man, he's not going for that wall break. And in that situation that we just saw, I think it's fine because anti sludge full burst. Um, why you don't see too much of that slump pressure anymore is getting slumped gives your opponent so much burst back. But if they're at 100 burst already, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Happy Chaos as well as a character now is a very, very burst giving character. It's no matter what you do, you will just give them, your opponent, so much burst because of the gunshots and the burst changes that, honestly, I think it's worth it to burst early in this matchup. Because even if it gets baited, you're going to get it back anyway. Very true. In the theory of min-maxing a burst, the faster you use it, the faster <laughs> it comes back. <laughs> that is the min-max version of the burst. Right here, we see mix after mix coming out from For Reals, man. If you're on side, what do you even do? Oh, man, this round's looking kind of rough already. But, hey, there is 50 meter coming up. And uh, no, but the mix is going to open it up. And a perfect as well. That's what I'm saying. This matchup is just unfortunate. You know, it's that point in the match where you just gotta start sending it. Yeah. No, I think Onsai's just gotta start 5-H in neutral. Just doing things in neutral to try to make something happen because obviously this is not working. Good backdash with the shot there. The stagger pressure, which is the 2K gunshot, 2K gunshot. And then he rolls, like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you're just looking for so many things here. Yeah, the mental stack that Happy Chaos gives you is incredible. And I think another thing is that I don't think For Real's man has been hit with a uh, a stain at all. I don't think he's been stained until now. Let's uh, see. No, not even now, because this is going to be the super getting blocked. You have stain on you. But what can Anti do? I'm gonna be looking for. I, I think he's gonna BRC in here. I think we're gonna see. There BRC. you go. What's the mix? There we go. Oh, good block. Blocks the cross-up really good. Oh, no. Oh, no. You have no bullets. You can't count to six. There you go. Full Reels Man is unable to count to six. You heard it here first. I noticed that about the uh, the first round of this match as well, is uh, I think Anti is just starting to look at his resource meter a lot more. There was like a few seconds where Happy Chaos ran out of the uh, concentration meter, and Anti still wasn't going in. Yes. I think once you see that bar is red and empty, that's your green light just to rush him down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Happy Chaos, when you don't have the concentration, his buttons are not that good without the threat of the gunshot coming out from behind them. But that's gonna be super wall break into that uh, positive pressure there. Wow, really good teleport to get back to the middle of the screen. Giving the corner back to the half of chaos. Super. But, oh man, this is uh, not gonna kill though. Yeah, but you do have super concentration. You can just play behind the clone. And right here, we will see the PRC. This is such a bad situation for Onsai to be in. And that's gonna be the J2K finishing it out for four reels, man. Yeah. Because both characters just they just don't mesh. Like you get you get soul versus soul. That's a that's a matchup that's fun to watch because both characters can kind of gorilla against each other. Leo versus Leo, kind of similar thing. But right here, both these characters just kind of don't really. It's not good. Radiant's already getting insane pressure though. HTC yeah. with one counter hit is gonna bring Radiant straight into the corner. Oh, he puts him back in the corner there. Oh, good little combo here. Radiance has to make something happen. And I think Radiance is just being a little bit too impatient right now. Oh, very good combo coming out there. And oh, no! I think he got mixed by the Axel colors because I, I realized that was a Radiance 
in control there. <laughs> yes. And there you go. Wait, um, wait, Radiance was in control? Radiance as a, and I, I love this um, character title here. Radiance in the purple played HTC and the red played. The fit check there, where can I get that shirt? Yeah, no, I thought, I'm gonna be honest, I thought HTC played purple and Radiance played the normal color. He typically does, that's why I got a little bit mixed too. Yes, right here. Radiance is getting hit with this corner pressure out here, but we will be seeing just so many throws coming out. Yeah, it's it's just such good pressure from uh, HTC here. And uh, does Axel have a punish when they block Snail like that? No, I don't believe so. Probably nothing that's far enough or fast enough, so I think that's a really good button to consider in this matchup. HTC has so much meter to work with here. Radiant has a lot to do. Right here, we're seeing Radiant not yeah. opting to burst, just keeping it for the next round. And I think he back off on that Oki there expecting, you know, 100 meter. Likely gonna be a wake up super, but. Um, yeah, no, Radiance is definitely in a bit of a situation right now. Uh, these might not be the right character size, because I thought HTC played purple as well. We'll still, we'll, we'll just go off of what the screen says right here. Yes. Um, but yeah, one thing I wanna look for in this matchup here is, does Axel have a good punish for Rainwater? I Rainwater is, know. I think, one of Axel's best moves. And Run some characters just can't punish it. Radiance is on the back burner, on the back foot right now, but you do get this combo coming out here. That's gonna be the burst. Bait. Oh no! It looks like, yeah, it looks like we were right. The uh, Unfortunately, something hit, got mixed up real quick, but Radiance is the one on the left, HTC is the one on the right. Got it, and yeah, um, HTC takes game one. Super close game though. I mean, go, going down to round three to the last interaction, I think these two are pretty evenly matched right now. Yes. No, they're, they're very evenly matched. The matchup is just one that's odd, and it's whoever can adapt to this odd matchup first. Radiant's already getting some good corner pressure coming out here. Very good dash to get under that 5P, and you do get a very good corner combo here. And I love this pressure so far, because when you say Axel, you think you're zoning, you're running away, but no, they're turning this into an aggro matchup. Yeah, no, I love watching this matchup. I thought it was gonna be a snooze fest at first, but this is genuinely really fun to watch. Right here, we see Radiance using the range very well, running up and throwing. And he did the 100 meter dash run up, bro, <laughs> oh my lord. 4.4, 4, 100 meter dash right there from <laughs> Axel. <It> says time. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I mean like, it's just, it's really interesting to see how their zoning tools like interact with each other because Radiance double overhead, very good use of it, and the Rainwaters in neutral from HTC are not going to be doing what HTC wants them to. Oh, good blocking the overhead there. Yeah, that Rainwater pressure is going to be brutal though. First bait attempt from HTC, I believe, not going to be successful as Big Radiance has bomber damage. Very good. Re uh, re oh, clips him with the far slash straight away. And I feel like the first Axel to start throwing out those Rensens, those um, explosion pressure, you just have so much of the momentum from there. Yeah, no, you definitely get a ton of momentum. Radiant doing a very good job. If you're noticing, I believe that the Axel, who is higher up in the sky, has been winning these interactions. As you can see, Radiant is doing a lot of double jumping, a lot of trying to get high in the air. Right here will be a lot of damage coming out, but this will not be enough damage to end the round. Burst, it will not be used as HTC runs in and grabs Radiant. Game two to HTC. Radiant, okay. Okay, Song, Radiance is Song. I'm good friends with Radiance, but song-wise. Taylor Swift. No. <laughs> what is it? It was, I believe it was Nightcrawler before. Uh-huh. We might be going to Marvin's room. I, you know, if that hypes him up, that hypes him up. You know, it's his game, not mine. <laughs> no, we got, we might be seeing Marvin's room come out for Radiance. 100 meter dash will get teched by HEC here. Radiance using some very good pressure to get this kill. Oh my, yo, shout out to Drake. Oh my gosh, I think that must have uh, been the change there. I'm telling you, bro, Marvin's room. Radiance, Radiance was not in a rap until recently, discovered it. <laughs> Recently, found out about Marvin's room. Was like, was like, was like, oh my god! And he says that corner is yours now. That and he's fighting his way out. Oh, the rainwater to beat the throw there. Honestly, that's where Axel finds so much of his damage. If he's able to shimmy with rainwater, that's where that big damage comes from. From a zoner character. Yes. No, right here we see the Rensen. Second Rensen 
We'll see another Rensen for the combo. Another Rensen coming out. Another Rensen, but that 6P will not be able to do much of what ATC wanted it to do. In what? your humble, honest opinion, Wednesday. Yes. Are these footsies honest or dishonest? These are these are dishonest footsies. I'm going to be. Oh my God! Radiance is getting to work. Has to make something happen. Both these players on one HP and Radiance with that 5P popping off wow. a little bit. You can tell that he he was clenched up for that one, and I think he's found his uh, momentum there. We may have been in like one penny territory, you know, mm -hmm. like just just get maybe into dime territory even, like like with how clenched we were getting over there. <laughs> <laughs> The reverse sweep for Radiance is definitely possible. It's just whether or not Radiance can weather through the storm. Very good combo coming out. That will be. He's trying to grab the sickle and pull him in like Scorpion. You know? I guess. <laughs> Get uh, over uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely seeing some interesting things in this matchup. Very good punish coming out from AGC. Radiance is going to be bursting here to make something happen. I think that's a pretty bold burst because. Hey, he was already full screen. He has huge meter advantage oh, and you have no. don't have much health left. Now you're setting yourself up for a really weak round two. Yes, you are setting yourself up for a weak round two. But if anybody can make this comeback, it's Radius. Yeah, I, I think always rule of thumb is play for the game, not the round. You know, if the round's not looking good, you know, try to make that comeback, but don't throw away your resources that could help you win the next round. Maybe bring it around three instead. Yeah, if you notice, he's been doing Rensen one and then Rensen Winter Cherry. Like that, he's been, the HCC has been using that sequence a ton. And it looks like HCC is just trying to jump out of that pressure, which does allow Radiance an opportunity to get something happen. And you're right about the whole air game between this matchup. I feel like a lot of the footsies are just clipping them with those air buttons there. Oh, trying to catch out HCC, pressing a move in the air. Gold burst coming out for HCC. Incredible gold burst. And Redson, Radiant, is making something happen. He has so happen. much meter. I think you got to be careful for some aggressive plays using this meter here with the HCC. No, Radiant is not going to be able to finish off the round. And that will be Radiant sent to the loser's side. No. I can never <laughs> see him on Geo. That, that's like... That's like a cursed apology, man. <laughs> Doesn't apologize, man. <laughs> Evil apology, man. <laughs> getting right into it, though. Looks like we are not going to let intros rock. Getting straight into it. Apology, man. Just back it up. Just chilling. Not doing anything. And that's what you want to see in this matchup here. They threw up the curse. You hop right over it. Oh, that did. Well, that actually didn't get hit by the curse. I thought it, his lanky hitbox would get hit by it. Concentration interrupted. Immediate burst to keep Happy Chaos in the corner there. Yeah. Oh, man. These eyes are just not it. Oh, he does get his trumpet pressure going, oh, though. Oh, no. No punish. But we are going to see JD, JD. Good. Not six go into anything here. And this is where Happy Chaos, exactly where he wants to be. Happy Chaos, wall break with that super. Bullet, positive coming. Bullet, I... back to six, positive, burst. What else did you want? I'm looking for maybe a YRC from... Up. There you there go. There we go. Apology yeah. Man is going to get what air and air throw. For Reels Man has been wanting this win for a while now. If I have Reels Man, hold your burst. Just use that 100 meter to win this round. Woo! And another... This is... For Reels Man is warmed up. This guy's insane. Hey, usually I take like five games to start getting those air grabs, but no, round one, game one, he's ready. Round one, game one, I wouldn't be surprised if he was practicing this on the setup so over there. Ooh. Burst bait as well, oh, no, no punish. punish off of it. For real, man, wants this matchup so unbelievably badly. And Apology Man knows that range so well. We're exactly where his far slash will hit. And if you press a button, he's going to clip you right off with that big counter game. Yeah, right here. We're going to see the high-low. YRC coming up for Reels Man. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a roll coming up for Reels Man. Trying Again, to make something happen. Slash. One thing to keep note of, the Reels has one bullet left, which means that even if Foe gets out of the pressure here and manages to do something, very good backdash catch and finishes off the round. But even if Foe did manage to get out of that situation, that one bullet would really be detrimental to what to the pressure that he would be able to put on. Yes, an apology man returns the favor. Good, good burst to make that pressure, turn that his pressure into your pressure. Put it in the corner. Yeah, Apology Man looks like we'll be getting an item throw here. Pretty unlucky with the bombs, but I believe this bomb will not be meaty. And now he has that after pressure there. And he gets another bomb as well. Oh, that's oh, no. such unfortunate timing. I think he was trying to wall break, but he uh, hops off of the wall splat in time, and then the bomb detonated as well. Um, this is what Thrills Man is going to need to turn this around. Apology Man does have a ton of meter and burst to work with here, but not much health on either side. 
This is something that's crazy. That's gonna be the gold I cannot burst. believe he gold bursted while having 90 meter. Yeah, this guy is a little bit insane. That's just gonna be the super. To me, this I actually, this will kill. I yeah, think this should. I think it will. One thing that's interesting, Vanita has been letting the super rock more than super PRC because Jonathan has been calling out Vanita's super PRCs by with a delay far slash. Yep. That's, uh, that, that, that's what happens when, you know, layer one, layer two, and when you're so deep in the layers, you just gotta take it back to layer one and just let the super wake up super rip. Yup, we will be seeing. I, honestly, this match is going differently than how I generally see it go. How's it usually go? Usually, you get Happy Chaos pretty much able to just put the reticle on you and run at you, right? Yeah. Oh no, this is not good for for reals, man. That's gonna be the afro that is eaten. You are going to be getting wall break off of this with the super. I don't think this will kill, but it'll get pretty close. Yeah, it'll, it'll, be, it'll either kill or be a pixel here. Yes, I believe it'll be one pixel. Yeah. Oh man, and if oh, I like, actually one pixel. <laughs> uh, if our apology man here, I'd just be looking for some chips somehow. Maybe just like a full screen uh, scaffold or something like that. Or oh, a bomb. There's that's, the that's bomb. definitely gonna chip. J2K into the mix, mix, mix. 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 Apology Man, too. making short work of this matchup. The round start I see so often for Apology Man, and, and Faust in general, is this round start crouching two key. It has such good range, you don't even need a combo from it. Because even that little bit of damage there, it still keeps your momentum up, it gives you the pressure you need, and it gives you like kind of the distance that Faust wants to operate at. Yes, it gives you so much to deal with, and right here, that's gonna be the air throw coming out for reals, has been so good on these air throws. Super PRC to get out of the corner! Who is this madman? There you go, I think this is his turn. Oh, I think he wants to stay full screen instead of running in. Just kidding, he's running in. And I, I love when Happy Chaos does his pressure, he runs full screen and he fires that gun. It reminds me of when I was a kid playing Time Crisis at the arcade, just <laughs> mashing on the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, uh, our apology man does have a lot of pressure to work with here. Lots of meter, lots of everything that he could do, and this will not be the kill. But oh, that scalpel will finish the it chip, off. Yeah. And uh, if I were for real, man, I think he's overall he's still playing well. Just um, you know, take your time, look for a little mental reset here. You know, um, no one's rushing you. No, no one is rushing you at all. And he goes straight into game three. Let's see. Getting into game three. <laughs> Again, those big counter hit bar slashes just to clip him off from his pressure. And, and that's that's what happens when you're playing such a seasoned fighting game veteran with such good fundamentals is like in such a chaotic game like Guilty Gear Strive, you can still win in neutral. You can still win in footsies. Oh, what a good bombo coming out from beneath here. This is just a normal Tuesday for him. VRC 50-50, this guy's pulling out everything! Yeah, and that YRC, it, it did help him at interaction, but look at that meter penalty. It's 10 seconds where you gain little to no meter. He has no resources to fight back with. Yeah, right here, you're just in such a bad situation if you're for reals, man. Because you have your tournament life on the line, you have no burst, you do have those resources back, like the bullets and the concentration, but you're just gonna get mixed. The cross-up tornado. Like, what are you gonna do? Mix, mix, mix is not going to combo there, you know. Mix, 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 I think they should just rename it to whip, 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 because I see a whip more often than it's actually mixing. Yeah, and I think that uh, um, Tornado that he blocked there, he kind of backed off and ended it in a range where the uh, Happy Chaos 2K, just one pixel out of range, couldn't punish it. Oh, that's such a smart maneuver right there. Scarecrow doing the up Scarecrow to make sure that he doesn't get hit. I don't see Beneath using that one very often. And he's out of bullets, but he does have meter. He's backing off, trying to look for a reload. Apology Man sees that. He sees the blood in the water and chases him down. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Counting to six on Happy Chaos is very important. The, Afra, or the, the hammer is not going to get far enough here, and you are going to be able to get a normal wall break instead of a super wall break. For real, man does have the positive bonus working for him, but again, the meter is so unbelievably favored on the side of Faust. We're gonna see here. I, I think he can still makes this comeback. He has a ton of bullets. He has all the concentration he needs. 50 meter. Don't burst bait. Oh, okay. okay. I like the routing there. I like it. I like it. I think that was a burst safe routing, if I'm not mistaken. I was gonna say, Frizzman, I swear, if you're burst baiting right here, right now, man, just take your round win and don't get too greedy. Yeah, no, especially against somebody like Beneath. It's just so scary to play against. And if you're trying to take burst, trying to take those risks, he will capitalize on you for it. Absolutely. And that JTK into the immediate tornado there. Oh, the cross up. Is that Scarecrow cross up? Oh, right here, we are gonna be seeing that super come out. Wall break imminent 
and you will see a very good mix opportunity for Beneath right here. And I really like what he's doing where he throws the item, eats it, holds it, flare, and then wall breaks to the super. So see, he has that banana stocked up. Oh no! Bo Reels, man, ends up losing. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what Jonathan pulls out here because I have not seen Jonathan play against Radiance very much. Yeah, so what I understand about this matchup that I think Jonathan mentioned briefly to me is uh, Rainwater is just really good. Yes. And uh, I think if you can get them to like block one of your close lashes as Axel, throw off that Rainwater. It's a good button. Um, the risk reward is, I think, so well in Axel's favor that like there's no reason you shouldn't just be very, very generous. With it. Yes. Look at this. You can see already Jonathan using those neutral skips to just keep Axel in the corner. Axel does get an Axel Bomber out here. And this is the situation. If you're an Axel player, this is where you're most comfortable. You have the soul at the range where soul cannot do anything to you. But if you're doing a mistake like that, soul can just Kara that Bandit Revolver and get it on you. Yeah. And, you know, against a top player like Jonathan, you cannot be whipping. You cannot be throwing out unsafe things like that. He will see that you're whipping. He will throw out that bent revolver and be right in your face. Very aggressive burst bait coming out. Or burst, sorry, coming out. That's going to be the deflect shield that gets hit. We do see HTC slowly, it looks like HTC slowly kind of understanding what is expected of them in this matchup. And that bandit revolver is going to be caught out by that 5 P. I actually think HTC is in a pretty good situation now. He has the meter to uh, fight back and defend. BRC to keep him safe. I think he was already safe, but oh, the tornado, we haven't seen that the whole time. Yes, yeah, so the tornado in this matchup is definitely something that's interesting. Jonathan had the right idea going for the five for the six H, but you want to do it with five H instead. Five H is just going to the episode that doesn't hit through, and it looks like Jonathan did not see the command grab coming in from behind. That him. was so tricky because he threw out the tornado, their eyes are on it. Next thing you know, how did I just get that pull? Yes. Right here, very good jump oh, on he actually, Waco. He had the read on Rainwater, but I think the punish just wasn't there. Yeah, and you see what I'm saying about that 2K? Banner Rover gets messed up by it. gets messed up by a lot. That's a pretty bold uh, air dash in there. Get great anti from HTC, though. Very good dodge. Unfortunately, Banner Revolver gets picked out. That's going to be Jonathan trying to cheat his turn back, and I believe HTC is going to be able to take this game on. There you go. Great game one to HDC. And I really like how HDC is so adaptive with their game plan. Like, for example, the uh, Axel Tornado that he got a few months ago with the patch, I don't think he used it a single time in the Mass of Radiance earlier, but now he, he's using this tool really well. And I, I feel like the answer to it is like, it looks scary. The hitbox on it is really high, but you can just run into the Tornado uh, dash block and it just gets you close to the axle. It might chip you out a bit, but just run in and dash block it. That is what I do agree with here. And Jonathan is going to be getting some pretty substantial damage on the HGC. That's going to be the wall break. So much damage from this But you know, soul this, this is a normal wall break. Honestly, against really strong axles, what I feel like, if you're breaking the wall, it doesn't matter his health. You can be 100, he can be 10%, that's fine. As long as Axel's full screen, he might as well be full screen. Oh no, Jonathan missing that 6H, luckily does not get punished for it. No quit punish on that. And Jonathan doing the double overhead. It looks like HTC does not know the fuzzy timing of that. Yeah, it can it can definitely be tricky because you can even mix up the timing too. But the, uh, you go with the meterless vortex. <laughs> hey, that's neutral. That's fussies, baby. <laughs> and I think that's actually a really good example of the, uh, the whole resource trade thing, right? Yes. It's like, hey, Soul eats a couple straight hits from Axel, five feet here and there, right? That gives him the 50 meter he needs to just go crazy. Yeah, and right here, you get that 50 meter, you're just able to start putting on the pressure here. HTC with a very well-timed 2K, yeah. trying to get something to happen. First, not going to be used by Jonathan here, but that cross-up is going to be an attempt. Not quite going to be enough. Super coming out as a reversal, going to be RC so that Jonathan is not able to punish it. Wow, that that 6H whip, the oh recovery was so long. Oh my god! Did you HTC. see that? Did you see that air throw? Yeah, and HTC is playing so right now. They're in a position to potentially take this up 2-0 against John Dantene, who's, I think, is the tournament favorite to win this whole thing. He is definitely the tournament favorite to win. It's either him or, jo or Apology Man, but Jonathan's been on a tear as of recent. Jonathan has to change something up. 5K, an interesting maneuver there to try to get something to happen. Very good 5K and here there. Jonathan trying to get pressure started. That's going to be the low attempt. Not quite going to get that two input, though. Getting that 5K. Oh, his risk Taking is so high, too. Many turns. That risk cranked up for HTC. HTC 
is uh, now somewhat That's saved. So Jonathan good. finally hits it. Unfortunately, not going to be getting the bandit revolver that he wanted with instead getting the misinput on that grab, that wild throw. And will this kill him? He drops the combo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. With the snail, finds the bandit bringer with punish. Um, you know, I, I can imagine that being a little tilting for HTC. Jonathan looks a little bit annoyed at Axel as well, but uh, I think HTC can really bring this back. Um, as for Jonathan, honestly, no matter how good of a player you are, you just get so sick of doing the whole Axel uh, tango here where yes. you just run full screen, or you can just meterless vortex full screen to get in his face. That's a very good little mix setup there. I really like what Jonathan's doing, and it looks like like even Jonathan's getting, like you're saying, Jonathan looks very annoyed at this matchup. His playstyle is becoming more erratic, becoming more neutral skip heavy. He just wants to get in and hit his opponent. Yeah, and oh, again, the Vortex, he did that later though, but the 2P clips him off. Right here. 50, 50 here. You do get that wall bounce. Going for the burst safe option there. Trying to make something happen. Very good super coming out. Will be on the floor. You have 100 meter to work I with. I would not count HTC out yet. Oh, burst. I, uh, I think he should have used his meter before bursting. He was already in a good position. Jonathan bursts right this now. Is, uh, trying to make something happen. That's going to be the DP coming out. We will see the Vortex hitting that extended hurt box. Very I, good I scam, was stun locked for a moment because so much was going on. Both players bursting with barely any health left, but they had so much meter to work with. It was a, uh, oh my lord. Yes, very, very, and very intriguing round right there. We see HGC just trying to keep Jonathan at full screen no matter and what we're, happens. And we're whipping out here. We are whipping the throws, we're whipping the moves, we're whipping everything out here. The gentleman's handshake. Jonathan tries to vortex, does not know you cannot vortex under that. And at this point of our Jonathan, Okay, just do that, I guess. But I was gonna say, kind of take things slow, see if you can just like work your way in and save that burst for a uh, round three. But if you we'll look, see if you can do anything here. If you look, Jonathan's not using the low very much. Very good. Yeah, six B coming out. Jonathan wants to keep the corner. There's One that rewater punch. And oh the first. my God, Jonathan! What an answer! What an answer! What an answer! Jonathan Tennant jumping straight forward. Mankind. No care for human life. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh my god, Jonathan! This is not the Jonathan, Jonathan. I know anymore. Stop! <laughs> I want you, we want you back home. It's okay, it's safe here. Well, you can come back to Zotto, it's okay. We don't want to see you like That's this. Killed. Heavy volcanic viper in the sweetest of spots. Uh, what a dominating round one. We'll see if HDC can bounce back from there. He's already in the corner though, but honestly, if you can just chip away with those two P's and see if you can find your way back, that's fine. He does find the banner revolver there to keep him in the corner. Um, he's working his way to 50 meter. This is gonna be a 50-50 here. Blocks it. Oh, does that aggressive dash in. Instant air dash in. And right here, you do get a lot of space that Axel Bomber not gonna go unpunished as Jonathan is not able to get anything off of this. Oh, this could be big damage here. I'm not sure we will kill, but it'll get to the range where you can just poke him out from full screen to finish the round. Yes, that is ideal for the Axel player here. Jonathan doing the standard Jonathan BRC right there. Gonna be going for the Vortex. It's air block, which means not very punishable. That will be the Renson 8 finishing out that round, though. And amazing, amazing from HTC to keep his composure after such a... Uh, a trap of round one, honestly, and he's bringing it back in round two. And let's see if he can tie this up. Yes, right here we see Jonathan very plus on that mana revolver. Actually, very good six and punish. That will be a burst to get HDC some space to work with. But we're going to see an even more aggressive oh, burst reversal. Here. This is a HVB combo. Not even going to clean it, but it I doesn't agree matter. With that, to not break the wall there. Keep him in the corner. You don't want to reset neutral against Axel. And that's going to be the Mike Sack. I think this catch him. out. That will catch Jonathan Tenney. I don't think he will kill, but no. this is a great position for HDC to close this out. I know for sure he's it can close what it out if Jonathan was not looking for that 6H. Um, probably Testament, a bit more advantage when they're full screen there, but if they're kind of just standing off with each other mid-screen, 
Um, I feel like Johnny, again, yeah, like he said, with those cards, with those misfinders, it's going to be pretty relentless pressure. But both these players have played really well um, to get to this point, so we'll see how it turns out here. I think one thing we might want to look out for is does Octai know when they can RPS out of the Johnny pressure? Because I think it's inevitable that the Johnny pressure will happen. I just think it's do they know that when they can hit, start trying to hit that RPS out. There's that Insango there. Oh, this is just whiff. This is just whiff button, and it looks like Ontai has this matchup actually fairly figured out. Using those air uh, arbiters in order to try to do something, it's using the long range that Testament does have in order to keep this matchup looking pretty fair in the size of Ontai. Yeah, and one thing that I am a fan of in like uh, starting a set with a new player, you know, that you haven't played before, in that first game, Test their reaction. Yes. For testament, do the high arbiter, do the low arbiter. Are they blocking that? Do they just hold down back? Really just test their um, reactions early in this set and see if you can abuse those. Right there, that's the test you were talking about, but it looks like Tug has the flying colors blocking that stain perfectly. We will be seeing the corner pressure coming out, and it looks like Ontai knows when you can go for that, uh, when you can start to RPS your way out. And yeah, I feel like Pugs is just dancing around so well neutral here. Yeah, Pugs is dancing in neutral. Some may call it a tango with how Pugs is leading Ontai around as much as where he wants him to go. Yeah, and these kind of like slower non-rushdown characters, they really take their time in a round. Like that whole time that was just going around so far. I think I it know. dropped down to like 30, 40 seconds. Hey, guilty of your strive. You're finishing rounds in like 10, 20 seconds. Yeah, I think I actually went to sleep during that round. <laughs> it, it took way too long for me. I'm used to rush down. I play soul. <laughs> or soul player. <laughs> Why are these guys just DPing here? I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Where's the 5 game? <laughs> <laughs> getting right out here, though, we do see Onside getting pressure started. It's me, Pugs. We'll be sent through that wall with stain applied as well as Super Wall Break. And here's going to be the Arbor High Low to see if they can connect on that stain. It goes low, and this. Oh, oh, that's for the first bait. You know, I have just realized we are at a tournament in Northern California and Pugs true. can make something happen here. That's going to be the, oh, the high of that projectile coming out. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what though, when I'm just like playing casually with friends or something, maybe even in tower, I love burst banning. You know that already. Oh, but in yeah. tournament, man, I take whatever win I can get. I will do my combo. If you want to burst it, feel free to. But you know, I, I'm just so like uh, reserved with it. But sometimes you gotta try. Yes, no, and I think I think you gotta try, but I forget we're at a NorCal tournament, which means we're gonna be seeing burst base every second, no matter what. Testament getting another wall break here with that super applying stain. Gonna be going for that high low. Which way you got? I got, honestly, I put 50 on high. There you go, congratulations. But a really good block for Pugs. Yeah, no, Pugs blocking incredibly well. 6P is not going to be utilized as well as Ontai may have wanted it to. That's gonna be the super stance on him. There we go. I love that super. God, the way the way he types the J, Johnny just elicits so much just swag. The autograph. Yeah. Give you the autograph and flame. Testament does have 100 meters to work with here. That's going to be the first. Testament needs this round to have something happen. Yeah. You, you know, one thing I haven't seen from Anti yet, um, the Testament teleport pressure. Yes. Or not teleport, but just like seeing if they'll whip something and teleport behind them and get a throw off or something like that. Um, first game goes to uh, Pugs there. GG's. God, that was one game? Yeah. I feel like I aged five years. Yeah. So back to that um, point about the Testament teleports. I also want to include that in the whole testing your opponent's reactions. If you teleport, are they looking for that for you to punish them with a grab or something like that, right? Yes. Uh, maybe they're just saving it for later in the set because you don't use it for the first, you know, two, three games or something. They forget about that. And when you need it to clutch out game five, it's in your back pocket. Yes. So that's definitely a strategy I've seen people use. That's going to be the super coming out as a wall break as well. Hug setting up an incredible situation for themselves here. You, onside does that burst, but you do get that super wall break. You get positive bonus. You get to go for Empty stuff like that. Grab. <laughs> That is a very bold burst there. Uh, maybe Untied believes in the round here, but 
That is Let's a, see if they can make a comeback here. That is a California burst. If I've seen one, there we are. That's the count. Hey, is it going to pay off? That is the pressure that you were talking about. One tap is all that Pugs needs. One 5P, one 2P, and there we go. That 2K will be the little love tap that Pugs needed to finish off that round. Yeah, again, I can't see I agree with that burst. They were always trying to play for the game and not the round. Because now you're set up for, you know, not the best round two. But hey, Pugs doesn't have burst either. Yes, so Pugs does not have burst. You both are burstless, but the one thing I will say, Pugs does have the advantage on the burst bar because you don't need this round to win, where Kontai does. Goes into super here. All right. Okay, high low. Which one do you got? Uh, honestly, give me give me high again. Give me high again. I respect it. Let's see. Give me high again. We blocked high. the high last time. And oh. he goes low. There we go. You know, Pugs and I, same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting the high, go for the low. That will be the 6P. Oh, that, was, oh, that was just like a mid-screen run up 6P. Oh, this is going to be pressure, not going to be grabbing in the fast amount of time that you have to not grab your opponent. Oh, look at that misfire pressure. You're just pushing anti back to the other corner. And they're just throwing out specials. I like this. Yeah, I mean, what else do you have to do in this matchup except to throw out specials? Pugs does get some very good oh, pressure. Yeah, that's going to be the Among Us super. <laughs> the Among Us super. Isn't that similar to the Zotto one? I get. I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Honestly, no, I see the vision. I see the vision. I, 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 if, if nobody else got you, Gaijo, I got you. Bro. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that will be the overhead coming out on and tight. Double it Arbiter to close things out there. Very well played, honestly. We go 1-1, on. we got ourselves a match. I'm very excited. This match is going very well. Uh, for both sides, it's just very good entertainment. Yeah. The matches are drawn out a little bit. Not too long drawn out, though. And I, I still think Bugs is playing the matchup pretty well, so I don't anticipate them needing to like go back to the character select screen for anything. Uh, we'll see how this game turns out first. See who can take the edge in this match. The one thing that I will say, you're aware of this because when you played against Otaki, you switch characters against you. Switching your character is almost more detrimental to the opponent sometimes. Yeah. Even if and, it's a worse matchup. And you know, it, it takes a really talented player as well to uh, really switch characters mid-set and do yeah. well with them. Because like, just like switching your muscle memory, your natural instincts on a character from one to the other, it takes a little bit of time to go from like, you know, a Johnny mindset to maybe like an Elfelt mindset. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Pugs is doing a very good job though. Already got this first round on tight. Keeping that hold of that burst is what you want to see from this Testament player. Card throw very high. Arbiter from below is going to do a lot of work for, for, for Ontai here. So Stan catches up the flip kick. Oh, oh, was that a full charge dunk? That was a, I don't believe that was fully charged. It may have been. Maybe a tap. Maybe a tap. You know, if they had something between a charge and a tap, that would be what it is. Yeah, if it was a charge, like I said, Ed said earlier about testing reaction. Man, I trust anyone to make it this far in the bracket could probably react to a charge 5D. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> right here, 6P coming out from Onside. Onside's use of 6P and neutral has been very good, but that will be a very aware super from Pugs. I respect it. Let him know that they're willing to let it rip like that. Yeah. No, letting that super rip. Honestly, I did not think the herd box was that far out, but you know, Pugs playing in that first suit. Maybe they got the uh maybe they got some, you know some extra tech in those eyes, right? Tell them exactly what they need to react to. Maybe there's Marvin's room playing in their helmet. <laughs> Maybe Marvin's room is playing in the helmet. Who knows? Yeah, first from Puck there to get the pressure. Uh, I think Anti is, has Johnny exactly where they want them. Oh, what a whiff step kicks there. A lot of whiff Testament 6P, they deserve a good button. They do. I feel bad for Testament players for the most part. Y'all get ignored by Daisuke. It's unfortunate. And here we go. Just take take your time full screen. Throw out your stain. Throw out those fireballs. Just chip him out. He has not too much health left. 6B. Uh, I think they could have closed out there. You know, 6B RC into something else with their 100 meter, but closes out the round anyways. Yeah, good no. stuff to Anti. Bring it back. Anti is doing. Is it Anti? Anti? Um, I'll have to ask later. We will have to ask. Whatever it is, they're doing a very good job of just keeping the pressure going. Not quite going to be comboing, and that does allow Pug to get something going. But on side, even though they're fighting from behind, those six days have been immaculate. Very good on Pug, the whole burst there. I agree with that. This is such a good position, Anti. Positive bonus. 
I think Desire yeah. Hunter to PRC out of this as well. Oh my god. Wait, Pugs knows exactly what they need to do. Gets that card hit to stop the super from happening. That was an incredible awareness from Pugs. This will be an uphill battle for sure. Yeah, it is the closest out. It is an uphill battle, but it's a battle that is winnable regardless. Pugs, that's ends the opening up he needs. Getting in the opening that he needs right here. Baby steps, baby steps. Return right back to neutral. Easy. The Arbiter's coming out. Almost actually to the Arbiter, not quite. PRC coming He's out with 5P is going to allow Pugs to be this in right here. This is such good movement for Pugs. I can't believe it. They're going to close this round out. What a comeback. What a comeback from Pugs. And Look Pugs is hey! feeling themselves. Hey! Let's go, Pugs. Let him know. <laughs> right here, we do see Pugs feeling themselves, doing as well as they can. They have something to go. They have that momentum to go off of. And it looks like Ontai not 6 being there. I need to, I need to see Ontai kind of just regain their composure. You know, they're still one game away from tying this up. That was a brutal last round, but it's not over. It is not over until it's over. Ontai is stuck in the corner on defense, has very good of use of that meter to block, but it won't be good enough as you will be sent through the wall. Yeah. I'm so impressed with Pugs' uh, movement around the Testament Pressure. Really navigating around that bullet hell to get in. Yeah, no, Pugs is, is getting sent straight through the wall, sorry. Unless the combo ends up dropping. But this is the tournament life of Onside. Pugs has to make something happen. That burst will be not able to be used because of the Wild Assault. 100 meter for Pugs. Can go for the card super potentially to rip through everything. I've not seen oh, this YRC game yet. doesn't do anything with it. YRC does not do anything there. That's going to be the PRC coming out. Oh, a counter my YRC. God. Counter hit on that YRC is not going to be enough. That will be the 6P. No pickup on the side of Onside. Pugs and Onside is going to go okay. the side of Onside. I see you, Onside. Tying this game up. This is what are you popping off for? This game's not over. This game is not over. It's we're going not to game five. Someone game play the silver scrapes. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, no character switch either. Pugs believes in the Johnny. And honestly, they lost the game, but that one comeback round was so good. You just got to ride off that momentum. Yeah, it looks like Onsai is very worried about the throws here as they're blocking high and getting hit by the lows. Throw coming out as you condition them to start blocking low. That will be the card not actually used. Miss Miner at close range is punishable. Not Such a good punish. step kick to punish that there. Oh, what awareness. Because that card super got hit, it actually wouldn't go. Johnny did not teleport. And let's see here. They're just going to shut it out. Uh, does get Johnny to spend his 50 meter. A lot of flip kicks going on here. Miss Miners to push Onsai into the corner. Onsai is being pushed back slowly. IV coming out. That will allow you to punish it. All right, super let's hear it. Break. Higher low. Which one you got? Hey, give me low. 50 on low? Let's see. Give me 50, $50 on low. I'm a gambling man. Oh, it is, is just a high. Is that technically a high if you run up tap us? I don't know if it counts as anything. <laughs> but that is going to be burst safe. Putting on through the wall. Ontai does have the, the such an upper hand. Set this point position. for Ontai. Let's see if they can close this out. Pugs is fighting back though. Pugs is definitely fighting back, trying to make something happen. Pugs on offense. This is not a situation that's been unfamiliar to Ontai, but it's a situation that Ontai's got been out of very many times. Good block of the high, unfortunately, trying to get something to go on. And Maybe that jump. Pressure. Six P's out. This is where Ontai has been winning these rounds. Really incredible. With that spacing, that low arbiter not gonna hit, but the spacing on that mid fighter is very well done. You know, I, I, I mentioned this a couple games ago, but Pugs is throwing out a lot of full screen miss miners. Some of them are whiffing. Should Tess maybe be looking for those teleport punishes? I don't think Ontai's represented those teleports maybe, yet. Maybe, maybe, but this and is. And we're down to the last round in game five. This is such a close matchup. This all comes down to a round where both parties have burst, both parties have been conditioning each other for years now, and what a good miss miner counter hit to try to get something to happen. Yeah. Very good backdash. Ontai is forced to burst. Does not want to give Johnny any more meter than you have to. Low stain is going to pop, and that will be the low arbiter. Very good on that oh, back that dash. Huge pad. six H to catch him out. Oh, that's so good. Dashing twice during that RC slowdown to put them in the corner. 
Yeah, right here we do see meter on the side of Testament. Testament can make something happen with that meter, but Johnny does have the positive bonus. You do get this run on. on looking for that YRC and the 2 kick 2D. Oh, the, the, the Wild Shot not being able to get out there. I was stunlocked a little bit with my boys, but right here we see the Arbiter in the air coming out. Lots of pressure from the Johnny player. This is player. insane. There's no resources between either players. We're playing some honest, honest footsies now. Gets oh. the step kick! Pugs closes it out. GG's to both players. That was a banger set. That was a very interesting oh, set my, to yeah. watch. Three to two are playing almost double the amount of games that your opponents who are coming down from winner's side have played. It does mean you're a little more warmed up, but it also does mean you have a lot more fatigue. You're blocking, especially against a player like Toxins. You're blocking high lows. You're blocking left rights. You're blocking everything, all this mix that you can block, and you have all these mental stacks on you already. Yeah, and uh, gets the yo-yo. I feel like uh, full screen Anji, maybe not the best responses to uh, Bridget just throwing out the yo-yo very uh, generously. Good SD's out. It does not look like Anox is too familiar with this matchup as they're not quite sure where to mash out, it looks like. Yeah, the, um, you know, the, the pressure from Bridget, it can honestly seem endless, you know, but there are certain gaps in there where she's looking to throw that yo-yo. First off, you need to kind of guess which yo-yo she's throwing out. It's either the one where it hits you on the way out or the one that hits you on the way back. Um, and then at that point, you're maybe seeing if she throws it out maybe after like a 2S, a 5H or something like that. Yeah. But if you're just looking for a yo-yo, suddenly she scooters in, she rolls in, and you're back to guessing. Yes, you are back to guessing, but it looks like what I'm seeing right here, the neutral from Ramilia is kind of played by the character. Just Bridget has a very good neutral, and it looks like Toxins is refusing to give up the way that he plays and is able to get a pretty damaging corner combo. Yeah, and it, it's so it's so um, it's it's so polarized in, in this matchup in that Bridget can control the screen so well, her pressure is so good, but her health and guts is pretty low. Anji, if he finds that 5H or Fujin counter hit on you, he's taking 50. He is taking 50 and some more. Toxin sent straight through the wall here. He's going to YRC to try to get something to happen. Toxin, very, very good spin Fujin. Charge Fujin is a good button in this matchup. Burst out from Toxin. Back, but he hits her out of it. Oh, oh no! If you're Ramilia, this is not what you want to happen. You have no burst against a character like Anji Mito. This is the best outcome for Toxins here, because they go into round three pretty even here. Um, if she had that burst for round three, this would be a lot different, but I think uh, Toxins just needs to uh, make his way in. Really get those uh, RPS situations going. Yes, getting those RPS situations is incredibly important, but again, you have to play against the character as slippery as Bridget is. This is what I'm talking about. Here's the big damage that he can open her up, but Vermilia does find the wake-up TP there. There is 2H to counter him. Yeah, right here. I definitely agree with that. Um, if you can keep him in the corner, get a bit more damage. Sometimes if you don't have the resources to fight back, it's not the best to return to neutral by uh, doing a non-super wall break. Good grab coming out here from Vermilia. Vermilia doesn't have to make too much more of an effort to win this round. But again, both these players are kind of within one hit of each other, as Toxins can just combo Vermilia with anything. But that will be this hitbox yo-yo coming out to finish off the round. Vermilia does take a round of, and it looks like Toxins starting to slowly get a little bit more familiar with the matchup. Yeah, and um, one thing I see uh, Bridget's do that um, Vermilia does quite a bit is uh, if she's, you know, mid to full screen with 50 meter, um, and you're kind of just like, you know, poking around with the buttons and stuff, she'll do a run up dash break into the wheel super to catch any button that's sticking out. And I think that's so good because when you see a Bridget that's running at full screen, you're trying to click rock or something like that. Yes. No, this Bridget is definitely being put in a scenario that's not good. DP coming out from Amelia. That will be a 6B hitting from very far away. Backdash gets caught. This is a lot of damage coming out. You get super wall break, positive bonus. This is great from Toxins. You really gotta close this out. And the empty jump to the throw. I like that. I really like what Toxins is doing. They have the adaptations back and forth. Toxins playing incredibly well, trying to make something happen. And a 2H to clip off his empty air code there. And there's that pressure. Wild Assault is getting in his face and goes for the throw. Goes for Wild Assault, Super Wall Break here. Right here. What's the setup? You get the Super Wall Break. Vermilia is doing a dash OS right there. I believe that DPs, if you get the dash, it hits you. 
Toxin is gonna not be sent through the wall. Actually, this is an incredibly good situation for Toxin. this combo count, really pump out the damage there. Very scared of DPRC. Toxin gets hit by the overhead. You do have first. So I would Toxin, not Toxin, recommend Toxin, first Toxin. here. That's gonna you be know, the first let's see if his pays off. I respect Toxin. Javante not being used, and instead you're gonna get comboed. You're gonna get mixed, and you're gonna get put in the blender. Man, I, uh, you know what? I, I totally empathize. I get where he's coming from because you spend so long chasing on this character. You get a hit on them, and suddenly they hit you back. You're like, no, no, no. I want to keep this pressure up, and you burst, even yeah. though maybe it wasn't the best time to. So right there, unfortunate whiff on that. Uh, on that throw punish not coming out backdash gets caught by wild assault right here he's getting sent through the wall super wall break yet again yeah this is gonna be huge but you know what bridge's damage isn't too high Anji has infinite health at this range with his guts here so he still probably has a couple chances here to turn oh this round no you say that but Anji oh, with just that. in time when his burst came back finishing it Ramilia has so much sneaky tech that gets used. It's very difficult to know when you're able to burst, when you're able to do those small things. And Toxins just doesn't know. Yeah, and Ramilia's just saying they're comfortable, they're too elite. I like this from Toxins. Take your time, change the song on your phone, go to back to character select, take a breather. Yeah, going back to character select generally messes with a lot of players' heads because they're they're like, I'm in game, I'm in game. You go back to character select, it takes them out. They're like, I'm in character so select. I just like icing them out just a yeah, little bit, you know? Just a little you bit, like yeah. Change the stage, change the song. Change something Elfelt up. song. Yeah, that's true. Well, I would love to see a change of really anything out here. It's very interesting seeing these two players go back and forth, but Toxins needs to make an adaptation in order to make these next, their tournament run. Right. But I see Duel Toxins in the one. player cam. I think he's still in good spirits. He's got some rhythm going on. He's not out of the game yet. No, he is not. That 6P especially shows that he is not out of the game. Low coming out, not going to be enough. And you do get the burst out from Toxins very early. Oh! Yeah, she... You, you spin the roll, you try to Javante, but Bridget just jumps out of that. Yeah, Bridget manages to jump out right here. You do see Bridget going for a cross-up. It's not actually going to hit there. I'm not sure why that didn't work. That is a cross-up setup Great that works. there. You got to really make this combo count, make it hurt. Uh, like you know, I actually like corner. that. Going for some Butterfly Oki okay there. Butterfly was just too far away, though. Not able to get anything to happen. And this is the counter hit from Bridget. Bridget gets the overhead All coming reliable. out. All reliable. Tap does. And this will be Super Wall Break going out for Vermilion. Vermilion able to get something happening overhead. And He's another going to does. finish out the round. So much mileage out of that. Good Far Slash kind of hit to start the round off there. And this is exactly where Toxin wants the bridge to be. Overhead as well. This is Overhead City. I mean, this is on so low HP right now. What do you do if you are Vermilia? Vermilia goes for the back dash. Ooh, that was tricky. Yeah. So he did the empty jump, delayed close slash. We are in layer three right now. We're in like layer five. We're all the way in layers that don't exist. And right here, Vermilia is able to take so much health off of Toxus and get a wall break. Oh, he's so patient. You know, you actually want to know if another thing Toxin, he's not really FTing out the pressure, but I think those first couple hits from Bridget, when she has you in the corner, you got to FT out that 2S, that 5H, really give yourself room to respond. Yeah, that Ko is not going to be doing what Toxin wanted it to do. You get the Fujin low, you have so much meter work to work with, and yet Vermilia is able to far slash out. He will get put straight through the wall here. No super wall break on the side of Vermilia. Definitely Toxin not over. can make something happen. I wouldn't be surprised to see the parry come out to make something happen. Because I don't think Vermilia is able to kill here unless Anji is tanky, but not tanky enough. 